Welcome, everybody. This is summer LARPing, and here for me it's like full summer blossoming. Blossoming. I was in the garden all day long. Here it's afternoon already. I'm in Germany. My name is Gerrit, and I'm here with some beautiful players who all live in the United States, if I'm not wrong. Uh, and yeah, there we go. And so I will invite you today to the rural town of Himbeldorf. And Himbeldorf is located in a wine region. And it's the time of the year when the festivities start to elect a new wine queen. And that is the game we are about to play today. That is the election of the wine queen. This is a live action online game I wrote and published in Gauntlet Codex Sunlight a while back. And it's uh, based on a LARP by Sylvia Ochlast and Björn Butzen. And both of them have experience, real life experience with wine queens. My wine queen experiences are a little bit indirect. I worked at the German parliament for a couple of years and that they also have like summer parties at the German parliament, like before the summer break, after the summer break, in the summer break and so on. There's always a reason for, for a nice little party or a bigger party. And this is also the place where certain lobbyists have an, an opportunity to present what they have. And so we always had like at least three wine queens at these festivities. So I had the opportunity to talk to regional wine queens. So what is a wine queen? A wine queen is a, a representative, a person um, of any gender by now, fortunately in many regions. Um, and the reason is because they couldn't find enough candidates anymore, <laughs> so they opened it to more genders. <laughs> but anyway, in that case, that is good. Uh, a wine queen is a representative of a wine region, and that starts like coming from a village, and then there are competitions for regions and even competitions for federal states. So there can be a wine queen of Rhineland Palatina, for example, and that is even then televised, at least on local television channels um, and they have like a competition which is like a beauty queen competition where you need to be knowledgeable about wine where um, you need to show that you are charming and can convince people that the wine from that region is the just the best obviously so being elected wine queen means that for one year you are an economic factor for the success of the region because your success at conventions, international conventions, even where you're sent to, uh, is relevant for how good the wine is sold. The tradition is not that old. Actually, it's less than 100 years old, but still it is seen as very traditional. Yeah. And um, so it appears to be more traditional. And in that sense, it also appears too traditional for young people. And this tradition is therefore on the decay. There are also other ways to communicate how good the wine is. And anyway, they are still wine queens. And for example, currently in the German government, there is a former wine queen. And she got her popularity out of her position. So she made really a lot out of it. And she's now the Minister for Agriculture, Consumer Protection, and um, Nutrition. Yeah. She has a lot of experience, obviously, as the wine queen. And today we have three candidates and two people in the jury um, to decide who the next wine queen could be between us. So the tone we are aiming for in this game is that... Uh, it is a serious and dramatic game. Um, they could be larger than live moments and comedic elements, and they will be, but they will just happen. It's not that we push towards them. However, the tragedy of the events will unfold rather quickly. And this, this is for one, because the celebration kind of this tradition is dying, but also because this rural regions mean that those who are young and ambitious have already left. There are not many jobs. Urbanization is going on. And we are in a situation where we just keep up 
with this tradition for the sake of it. And also some people still very strongly believe in this. And for some, it's still something very important. And our characters will have mixed opinions about this. Some are more into this respect uh, towards the tradition and others are completely already beyond that. We will see that. We want to play this with full respect towards the people who still celebrate this. And we want to play this with full respect towards people in the situation uh, they are in, in the game. Um, however, we also don't glorify this in this game. So Himbeldorf, to tell you a little bit about our promising town, is preparing again for this. And we can imagine that Himbeldorf has maybe 1,000 people living there, maybe 2,000 people. Um, so they call themselves a large town already. And they are located in a beautiful area next to the Rhine, the River Rhine maybe, or the Mosel. So imagine a landscape with like, like canyons, but like very, not very steep canyons where there's, there are perfect places to grow wine. Um, you have like um, ships for transportation passing by there, but not too many but uh, many of them are full of tourists. They stop in Himbeldorf because they are more attractive places to stop. So tourism was not the right approach maybe, but maybe one day we could like attract like a Japanese investor. That's like the people's dream. That, that somebody is like that all the ships with all the Japanese people who want to see Heidelberg and later Cologne will make a stop there and spend a day there and you could put like cost, traditional costumes on and dance for them a little bit and do some German tradition stuff. Maybe that could work and bring some jobs into the region. So in the jury this year, we will have Andreas Bickelberg. He's the most successful person in terms of business making and he's quite a charm. He can also be played as a woman if you prefer, then it's Andrea Bickelberg. Um, as the moderator for the show, we are lucky to have Antonia Daubern. And she's from the Daubern Gut. Gut is like um, a big farmstead where wine is manufactured and has one of the most prolific wineries of the whole region. That is Antonia Daubern, or if it is, if you want to gender them masculine, then it's Anton Daubern. And our candidates are Emily, Jona, and Franka. Again, any gender is possible. Standard setup would be all women, but everything goes and our play works with any gender. Um, we um, have in the game uh, lines and veils. That is something we have done before we started the recording. We discussed what kind of topics we don't want to have at all in there, what we appreciate to have and what we want to see veiled. We will also have something like the X card in the game. So at any time you can say, can we stop the scene here and rewind and exclude what we just had? It just didn't work for me for whatever reason. That can also be like for dramatic reasons. So feel completely free to interrupt play also for dramatic reasons to say like, I want it differently. This is not how I want the story to go. And we also can, uh, we can also leave the game anytime. So the door is always open. It's not a problem. We, people are always more important than a game and especially in this game, if it's not for you, it turns out not to be what you wanted for the day, then we will just continue without you. Or if we are not enough people anymore, then we do something different and still have a good day. There's also something which I sometimes like to do in, uh, like, so we have lost somebody, but I'm sure she will be back, uh, which is the responsibility roles. In our shared document, we have something which is called responsibility roles as a table. And that is that um, I'm the facilitator and I do the welcoming and the introduction. Uh, I will also look for the time 
um, like when we should be at which point in the game. If something happens technically, for example, if I disconnect, then it would be nice if somebody else is going to continue running the game. Do you feel like that one of you could specifically say, I will step up and see what should happen next or how we how to get in touch with Gerrit, for example, because he disconnected and stuff like that. Um, maybe somebody who is already familiar with me, like Ruthen or Alison, who can contact me on Discord or Facebook. I can certainly do that. Cool. Thank you, Ruth. For the rules, I'm also uh, responsible. And then there's the debrief. And for the debrief, we have like a little section where we just ask two questions and go twice around the circle. Uh, and there's a prepared text in our shared document, which you just need to read. Could somebody do the debrief instead of me? Because I really enjoy if somebody else is guiding us through that. Who feels uh, OK with doing that? If nobody does. I can do the debrief. Thank you. Are you Peter or Peter, by the way? Uh, either works. Peter. Peter. Cool. Thank you. Megan is con connecting and disconnecting. But she will be back since, yeah. OK. And then, importantly, we have an online document. And we need to check that once in a while. Uh, maybe we can move over to that for a moment. That is a Google Doc. And it's still loading for me. And in that Google Doc, you see um, everything about the responsibility roles. And we should enter the names of the people we just discussed in there. Peter is doing the debrief. And Ruthen, you are now officially tech help. <laughs> Thank you. So in that document, we need to work with sometimes and edit it and change stuff in there. So keep that ready. OK, we are now ready to start with the workshops. Megan, are you OK with or are you trying to improve something or what's going on? Um, hopefully we're good now. Sometimes it's spotty in this room. Um, so sometimes it holds just fine. I'm hoping that it'll be stable. <laughs> cool. Yeah, same goes for me. I hope I'm, I'm stable. Sometimes I have a disconnect and then, but then I should be back very soon. It could only affect the, the recording negatively, I'm afraid. Okay. I, I was just saying that we are now ready for the workshops and explaining the meta techniques. And when we are done with the workshops, before we start actual play, we make a longer break. So we are fresh and ready to return after the workshop stuff. Okay, cool. I'm excited. So um, first of all, um, the drinking. Um, so everybody can drink wine if they want. Important is to stay being a good player and being able to be there for each other. If you're strong and lost after a while, you can't game anymore or you cause trouble and have difficulties to follow the lines and veils and stuff or lose your English like me. <laughs> yeah, that is important. So are we all okay with in everybody else drinking? Then we can have a, a thumbs up. That's good. Thank you. Good. Nobody has to drink. Water is totally fine. People won't make realize that what you're drinking. You can't. They can't smell it. Next is, oh, nice. The next thing is that we need to practice Prost. Prost is the German toasting. So you say. Provost. Can you do that for me? Provost. Prost. 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 Perfect. <laughs> then 
what always helps in the game, in some awkward silence, for example, <laughs> to get some ching. Ah. Like, put, put your glasses together. Oh. Yeah. So even when Plastic you're not... Plastic cup. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I just have to trust the glasses. <laughs> I, <laughs> I use my microphone like we're very enthusiastic <laughs> so even when you're not in a scene but what happens when you're not in the scene is that you have your your camera turned off then you can still make this noise in the background just for to irritate the players <laughs> and it works so what we can also say instead of prost which is like in reality, usually beer. We can also say zum wohl. Zum wohl. Zum wohl. Which means like uh, chante in French. Zum wohl or prost. Both works. Okay, but now comes something a little bit more challenging. Now comes ein Prosit. Maybe your dream has always been to once in your life to go to Oktoberfest. Um, if you can't make it, this is maybe what comes closest to going to Oktoberfest. <laughs> we have a little song, which is very, very popular at Oktoberfest. And I have never been to Oktoberfest in Munich, but I was at an Oktoberfest in Dubai, for example, with original Bavarian dancers from India, um, but original costumes. Um, and it was, Ein Prosit was important because Ein Prosit means that everybody needs to finish their beer and then you get a new one. And this is a way to guarantee everybody gets properly drunk at the end of the day. So whenever the band is playing Ein Prosit, everybody is like usually like getting up and do some schunkling, schunkeln, this is when you link your arms in each other and then they go like this and have your beer and at the end of the song it says ons, zwei, drei, ksufa and ksufa just means drink now and then you finish what you had. Don't do that in the game, you're too quickly too drunk um, <laughs> but um, you can still drink a little bit then. For us the song is more important because this is how we end the scene. So let's imagine we have this scene where the mother confronts the daughter, why she started sleeping with her new friend. And before she can respond, I pose it, I pose it, der Gemütlichkeit. Prost. Scene is over. Everybody goes camera black. The next scene starts. New players come in the, into this, their scene and play their scene. One after another. Not every scene has to end like this. You can also simply say cut, like is what you usually do in LARPs. Um, and then the next scene starts. But many scenes can end on this. And every player can at any time start this. Don't forget to unmute your microphone before you do that. Otherwise, it's just you listening to the song, which might also be fine. Um, so this you need to have ready. And if you only have it on your computer and you use headphones uh, like me, then the others won't hear it. So you somehow need to get around that. So either disconnect your headset quickly and connect it afterwards again, or have a second device like I have. I have my phone and it's here on the phone. Okay. That's the introduction. But now let's do this together because the scene not just ends, but we will also celebrate and do this song properly together, just like on Oktoberfest or on a Wine Queen party. And they will play this at a Wine Queen festivity, that I can guarantee. So when I play the song again, let's go full into party mode and sing this together. I can help you with the lyrics, but it also just doesn't matter. And we will have like a time delay of nearly a second between you and me across the ocean. So it will sound <laughs> terrible, but that's not the point. <laughs> Celebrate this together. Okay. Are you ready? 
Yes. Let's go. Ein Nailed it. Wunder. Zum Wohl. Definitely going to need to be drinking wine. <laughs> yes. So this is from now on the scene ending technique for every love. Um, I'm into it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Good. Now comes something a little bit more difficult and less joyful. Uh, that is, um, let's practice a little bit player aggression. And for that, we have another safety technique, which is called Lago, uh, which comes from Jason Morningstar. And Lago means, uh, a little, let's slow down a little bit. And usually you use your hands like this. And so, and you can say Lago or just use your hands, which means like calm down a little bit. And we should all practice that at least once um, to see how that works. But also at the same time, we practice being a little bit aggressive. And it's difficult to be aggressive on the snap because we are trained in society not to do that. And it's not seen positive <laughs> to be aggressive to strangers even who ha haven't done anything wrong to you. Um, but let's still come up with a couple of very short and easy scenes. And I always recommend to think of your arc enemy or somebody who you have real life arguments with uh, to say what you would say to them, maybe in your worst uh, uh, versions of yourself. Um, and this is also why I can help you to propose a scene, but I will also, um, uh, it's also up to you what you prefer, what kind of scene. And I think I want to play with Peter if that is okay for you, that you can practice Lago sure. and I get aggressive. Mm -hmm. So don't wait until you really feel that I go too far, but give me the sign quicker because otherwise it sure. will become very awkward after a while. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can stand me a lot. <laughs> or I'll just find it hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I have, uh, yeah, I have seen that go, go, going wrong. So I think I'm, um, you wanted to show up to my wedding and um, with the cake and you didn't come in time. And it was something I really asked you before to, to be there and that it's important for me and everything. Okay. Peter, you, mm -hmm. you didn't come when I needed you the most. What, what went wrong again? I can't understand this. What's wrong with you guy? You're just like a terrible person. That's the whole thing. You are just a terrible person. It was so wrong of you. You, you didn't get what you caused Argo. there. And it was, it was not okay. And therefore, I, I think we should discuss that again. I'm, I'm not fine. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. cool. <laughs> next time, you can still come to my next wedding. I'm I mean, I invite you again. <laughs> um, who else would like to play Lago? Maybe we just go around the circle and Peter, you become aggressive now and you pick somebody who can pre sure. practice, practice Lago. Uh, let's see, Megan. Um, what's a good scene? So, um... Let's see, let's say that you, you were, um, I don't know. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm what to be aggressive about. Oh, I, so, uh, you, yeah, I caught you smooching um, uh, my person. My. <laughs> okay. 
So I saw you out in the park. That was like, what the hell was that? That would like a, there. There was tongue, Megan. That really sucked. Like <sighs> shit, man. You know, I I'm I'm not a violent person, but damn it, I just ah want to. Okay, Largo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Thank you. Yeah, before yeah, you yeah, jump yeah. through the screen and <laughs> attack anybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, it's yeah, it's it, it just it wasn't cool, Megan, and we can we can talk about it. I'm, okay. My feelings are hurt. Okay. Okay. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Okay, Megan, uh, my turn? you okay, want to well, be? Let's be aggressive against somebody. <laughs> I know I'm super comfortable yelling at Allison, so um, I will choose Ruth <laughs> who I have not yelled at before, as far as I know. Um, so um, let's say that you um, were, uh, you got really drunk at my birthday party and you made a scene, and I am mad about that. All right. Uh, Okay, so um, I want to talk to you about what happened the other night. Um, you know, you were at my party with all my friends and my family and everyone I know, and um, your behavior was just really unacceptable. I mean, when I invite someone over to my home, I expect them to treat me and my guests with a certain degree of respect, and the way you acted was just not okay. I mean, you know, it was okay when you got a little tipsy, and that's fine, and everyone does, but you know, I thought you were a better person than that. I really thought that... Largo. This is really hard for me, and I, I feel like our friendship has been... Um... Maybe we can talk about it. <laughs> I'm not sure if I fell into an internet abyss or Megan did. I think she I did. Think Megan oh, did. no. Oh, I can. Uh, mm -hmm. Now she's back. Am I back? Yes. You're back, yes, yeah. You're back, right. yeah. So you were like. No worries. Internet Largo. <laughs> <laughs> My internet is Largo. My internet is. What's below Largo? <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. So we want to see Ruthen going aggressive next. All right, so Allison, I guess this is you and me. Um, what if we did a scene where I was trying to convince like listeners that you are uh, untrustworthy and generally a bad person? Does that sound sure. acceptable? Cool. Um, so I, I I don't understand why any of you would trust Allison. Uh, she is just completely unreliable. She stood me up one time when we were supposed to go buy groceries. I didn't have any groceries like all week. And I had to just order pizza every night. It was terrible. She constantly lies and misconstrues the truth. And um, I saw her sneaking around with um, very bad people. Um, <laughs> I'm good at this. Uh, and I just, I, I can't believe anybody would want to... Um, would, just doesn't see entirely through her facade of respectability and um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
um, maybe we could talk about this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk the scene through. <laughs> I have nobody to be mean to, Garrett, besides you. You need to be mean <laughs> against me, yeah. <laughs> um, I will Thank say that Megan much. and I have actually played opposite Fae Queens in a game before, and uh, we did, in fact, yell a lot. That sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, Garrett, um, I have a photo shoot today, and you borrowed my prop and broke it. <laughs> also, I love your photo shoots. Wait, I'm supposed to be mean. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Garrett, you knew I had a photo shoot, and you borrowed my umbrella, and you broke it. What? Like, I spent a bunch of money on this. It's today. It wasn't me. It, it was you. I lent it to you. You asked me for it. Why well, did you do this? It was already broken. Yes, it's broken in half. You knew this was important to me. <laughs> it, it it really wasn't me. Okay, it was probably Megan. Yeah. As, just as I said. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> now we now we are friendly again to each other. <laughs> uh, uh, we we need to be oh, slightly friendly because we need to select characters, and the rules say that the facilitator distributes the roles to everybody and then people can rearrange. This is like to avoid like analysis paralysis and let people like read through all the descriptions. Um, however, that is up to you. Alison already has a role uh, because she wanted to prepare uh, and that is uh, absolutely adorable. Thank you very much, Alison, for this extra effort, um, as I can see. Um, and I will introduce the five characters to you and I make, can re make recommendations, but we can select together who you want to play. So um, there is like a chart in our shared document, which shows like all the characters in the layout out version, which you have you know, from Gauntlet Codex Sunlight. It even looks nice, the same chart. So we have five characters. So in each of us will play one of the characters um, and there is, we start with Emily. Emily is the innocent. Um, uh, she's not 100% qualified and she's quite naive for mm -hmm. the job. Um, like, as I told you, they're like being the wine queen is means being an economic factor and the success of the region depends on a, selecting a good wine queen. So it might not be the best choice. She's 19 and um, she wants to make her parent proud Antonia, um, and um, she wants harmony for everybody. That is our dear Emily, our youngest. We have uh, Franca, the ambitious, already 20. And um, she is what I, who I talked about before already, um, before we started the recording. She comes from somewhere else. But she grew up in the region. So actually, she is somebody from there like anybody, everybody else. But as it happens with such small towns, you always stay an outsider because you don't speak exactly the same dialect and stuff like that. Franca is also not so qualified, but it's already better than Emily. Uh, and she's realistic. And she hopes to, to use this position of the wine queen to make something out of it. Um, so which is already kind of cool for the region. So she would be possibly a good candidate and maybe this lack of qualification can also be like supported by somebody senior. Um, she's also quite protective of the young generation towards the old. More information in the character description. And then there's Jona, the privileged. And Jona is 23 and she's um, overqualified actually and arrogant. Um, She's overqualified in the sense that she's seen the world already. She has studied abroad in, in a little town in the Midwest, in the US, and therefore she has seen the world. Um, that happens actually to a lot of German kids that they say, I want to go to the US one day, and then they go to school exchange and live on a farm for a year. Um, still an experience and still very valuable for many, uh, but not exactly what they imagined. 
Um, also, she has started to study business in Munich, so in a big town uh, and business. Um, but she also wants to find love um, somehow. But with this arrogance towards all these traditions, it is not clear for everybody if she is actually interested in this position. Maybe she is not in be becoming the Wine Queen or if she is just making fun of everybody here by participating. Then the two jury heads or is like Andreas, this entrepreneur, this charming entrepreneur. And well, as you can read, he wants to go into bed with the innocent um, because he has never learned to respect anybody's borders, um, except for when it comes to money. And the problem is that um, he wants to have a good business partner with the queen because he needs the queen for his business like somebody reliable. And uh, finally, there's the host, Antonia. She's traditional and um, maybe a little bit cold-blooded because she has seen it for too many years. Um, and she needs to rescue her winery from bankruptcy. Um, she hopes to get Emily as a queen and Emily is her daughter. So if Emily becomes the queen, then... Antonia will help her to get through this and will manage her to become a good queen, hopefully. Yeah, and well, for sure, they are ex-lovers with uh, Andreas. Things happen. Yeah. So there are more details in the character description, but uh, who has like a tendency to whom? Is somebody who's like saying, this is something I want to play. So I can very well imagine playing one of the jury people, for example, because um, that also gives me the opportunity to guide a little bit uh, the game in that sense, like how to do to write the competition. However, you actually don't need experience with that if you have seen at least like half a, a show of like uh, a beauty sh contest show or something like that, or even um, like this. Next, uh, next big voice kind of show, then you know what is expected from a jury member. Um, Ruthen, who do you think is the character you could imagine playing? You are muted. I believe you're muted. Ah. Let me unmute myself, and then you'll be able to actually hear me talking. Mm -hmm. um, I think, in particular, I could imagine playing either the host or the ambitious, but um, honestly, all of these characters look really interesting. Mm -hmm. And They're Peter? They're all lovely characters. Um, I am most drawn toward Jonah, the privileged, and I can also easily play the innocent and have a blast. Uh, so th those are the two that I'm leaning toward. Then be the privileged. Excellent. And Alison, you are the innocent. <coughs> Megan, coming on and off. Not there, yeah. Back again. The unair conditioned room that gets good signals. So I will, during the break, I will try and fix my, my larger issue. But I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. Um, I wanted to ask you what in which character you would be interested. And they're still available, the, the ambitious mm -hmm. uh, potential queen. And you could also be the jury head i um i would be comfortable with either of those roles so then you should be the ambitious because then we have a perfect distribution yeah so ruthen is the host antonia or anton um, and then andreas is the jury head that is me uh, Jonah is played by Peter, the privileged. 
and we have Franka the Ambitious by Megan and the Innocent Emily by Alison. And we can enter that into our sheet. And you have done so already. Cool. Thank you. And we don't have a former queen because we have five players. And that's actually also good. Okay. That is all what we needed to do before we start play. However, we have three acts in the game. And uh, we only interrupt the play uh, when an act is over or before a new act starts. So after our break, the first act starts. So let's discuss the first act and also how this act structure works. So each act has like a series of uh, scenes and the idea is to have like a spotlight scene for each character and also um, like the the rhythm of this elections so the day before the festivity begins then the first the, the party before the election and the last act is then the election itself so these are the three acts <clears throat> and at the first act, we want to get to know the characters. We don't need to introduce your interpretation of the characters now because we will do that in character in the game. So the first act con contains scenes for each character. And when you look at the, at the document, you see that the lovely innocent starts with the very first scene, then our great ambitious gets the next scene, and finally the privilege has the third scene. And these scenes are special scenes in the sense that they are video diaries. That means everybody else has their cameras and microphones off and you are alone here. Uh, it um, especially helps when you um, put that um, in Zoom, you can um, exclude videos which currently don't have video on. It's also the best moment to communicate to the other players what your character is up to and we learn about the characters in detail and their wishes and their anxieties. After these three video diaries by the potential queens, we have the March of the Candidates, which means that they are alone behind the stage. That's the first time they are together. They have haven't seen each other for years maybe if they went to school together and now they it's a scene with the three characters together and you can just play it out until somebody plays the song or otherwise cuts the scene and then we have video diaries by the two jury people and finally a for a pre-show briefing of the two show masters and that is um all set up then to let the show begin and the show is where everybody is together in a scene it's just the five it's the five of us and the moderator and the jury head andreas and antonia will then invite the queens one after another and to talk a little bit but you can also interrupt each other and so on and uh, this is the scene where we will see them so to say really on stage then the act is over we will leave characters for a moment to plan the second act. And in the second act, there's more liber uh, liberty. A free scene is there dedicated to each character where we will decide who you want to see in that scene, who, which other character. And so you can say, I think the storyline with that other character, that is something interesting. So I think I want a scene with this person and that person. And it's up to you who you invite into your scene and also where the scene happens and how it happens. As we are in this kind of chamber lab situation or chamber theater situation, the scene should not be something like a soccer game, which can't be really interpreted online, but it should be something where people are standing together or hiding behind or crawling out of bed together after a night together, something like that. And in the second act, we will also have like a special scene, but I will tell you more about that when we are the time we will have a ball um, but that is then to come i think we should now have a 10 minute break where you have time to read through your character and take a proper break i recommend first taking the break and then returning to read otherwise you might end up reading too much time and not standing up and stretch your legs and arms 
cool. cool. Um, do you all feel ready to play this game? Yes. Perfect. And it's we are perfectly also in time. We are together for an hour now. That's exactly the time of free stuff. So there we go. Also take a look at the diagram again to see like who's connected to whom. The good thing is in the game you can look at that whenever it feel it feel it works. And don't forget there's this and there's ein Prosit. <laughs> there's zum Wohl. And there probably is your wine. Cool. Okay. Then see you um, 15 past. Or do you prefer 20 past? 15 past is good. 15 past is good. Cool. See you then. And we will all be black except for Alison starting with the first video diary. And this can be three, four minutes, however you, however you long you need. Other, only if it's interrupted by music, then we all come back camera mm -hmm. live and sing and dance, right? <laughs> Don't forget. See you then. Bye. Megan, we're Ah, what now? We're best friends. I know! I'm sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm going to have to destroy you. <laughs> no, no, I will protect you at all costs, but <sighs> I'm still going to destroy you. <laughs> all right. <laughs>
full. We are nearly all back. We haven't heard from Ruthen yet. Cool. Hello, I'm back. Hello, Hello, you're back. So it seems we're all back. So we are all back and I put my video off. And Alison, when you are ready, then you put your video on and play the first video diary. And when your scene is over, then we immediately see the next video diary without a break. And we will just continue until the act of the end of act one with our play. Can I just ask quickly if my parent is playing male or female? Mm -hmm. Ruthen, are you, what's your character's pronouns, gender? Um, I will be playing as female. And I am updating my Zoom name accordingly. Good to know. Okay, okay, today's the day. Um, I'm gonna be wine queen and I'll make my whole family proud. And my mom, she really wants me to make her proud. And, um, oh boy, hold on. Okay, no, this would be great. Uh, everyone would be happy and they'll cheer for me because our region's the oldest and it would mean a lot to us. And, um, but have you seen those other contestants? They're so much better. Um, no, no, it'll be great. I'll just, um, I just can't embarrass my mother because she'll be so mad. Um, so I'll just make sure that I don't drink too much at this wine thing. Um, and then, and then I'll be graceful and perfect and, and, and everything will be great. And she said I would win anyway, um, as long as I don't make a fool of myself and I'll just make sure I don't drink too much and it'll be lovely. Okay, I'm ready to go. This will be a great day, amazing day. Hi, so, um, Today is the election of the wine queen. And of course, you know, I'm, I'm running and um, why, am I, why am I doing this? Well, um, you know, my, my father is obviously from and you'd think that everyone here would be thrilled to have the input of someone who brings knowledge from a finally successful wine producing region, right? But no, that has not been the case. And in fact, it's kind of been an issue. So, um, so I'm really, really hoping that I can win today. Um, because I think there's this, back at work and you see it in, and I, I don't want that to be my town, you know? I don't want that to be my community. So I think if I win today, um, I'm gonna be able to maybe make a change in that, maybe make us a little 
bit more of a, um, make us all a little bit more open to new ideas and bring our, our region and our industry into the 21st century. So um, I'm we'll see how it goes. I'm Well, I'm of course going to be wine queen. It's the obvious choice. Emily will embarrass herself and her mother will see how ridiculous an idea it would be for to have her as the wine queen. I'm sure I can help that situation along. And my God, Franca is beautiful. But I'm going to be queen. It just makes sense. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm well qualified. And I've been to America. And all of my plans will, my wishes, dreams, and hopes, they'll come true. Let's see. I think there's a song I can play to end the scene. Oh. Oh no, it's not playing off these speakers. How terrible. Let's see. There we go. I think I have it playable now. Just uh, my iPad was grumpy. Okay, I can stop my video now. Hello, Emily. Hi, Jonah. Wow, it's so good to be. Oh my God, Franca, you're here. Oh, it's so good to see you. Hi, Franca. You're looking well. Oh, uh, isn't this too. America? Franca, you're breaking up. I didn't quite hear that. Were you asking me about the states? That's where I went. <gasps> Oh, I want to know all about them too. Oh, it was fine. It was fine. It, you they know, have a million stories. Oh, I do. I have a million stories. You, you know what, Emily? Let's drink. Let's drink oh, to travel. Oh, I really shouldn't. Um. Okay. Uh, uh, right. Right. Yeah, yes. Yeah. That's what they do. Right. Exactly. Ha! Uh, excellent. <laughs> So, so yes, but I, I won't bore you with my stories right now. But I love your oh. stories. And you know my friend Franca? I do. I know your friend Franca. She's my best friend. I'm sure she is, Emily. <laughs> so, um, what, what do you do together, you and Franca? Oh, we sing songs. <laughs> sing song. That's what friends do. Yeah, they do. Franca has a <laughs> sweet voice. Franca! We were just discussing how beautifully you sing, Franca. Or Franca. <laughs> Am I pronouncing it correctly? Oh, Franca, we can barely hear you. Yes. Yeah. I, 
I think we need to interrupt here to get the connection better or to change the game. <laughs> okay. We don't need to stop drinking. Perhaps, perhaps Franca had to leave to go to the bathroom and Emily and I'm, I'm left with this wonderful <laughs> companion here. Hello, Emily. <laughs> so you can tell me those stories after all. All of them, every I, one of them. I, I could tell you so many stories, Emily. Right, yes. Emily, you know what? Let's let's drink. Let's. Um, oh, you know what? I all all will do an American toast. Okay. <gasps> an American uh, yeah. toast? Is that a real thing? Yeah, they say. Cheers. Okay, but my mom's okay. not looking, right? Okay, yeah, we'll say it really quietly. Okay. Okay. And then take okay, a okay. Okay. Drink. okay. 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 How's it go? Cheers. Cheers. That's how it goes. Yeah, that's that's it? it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Franca, welcome I'm sorry. Back. Emergency bathroom thing. Don't happen to the about rest it. of us. It does. <laughs> so cheers. Is that what I heard? It's cheers. Yes. Jono is teaching me an American toast. Mm -hmm. How thrilling. Mm -hmm. And she was telling me how you sing together. Mm -hmm. We do. <laughs> yeah. Do you drink? Do you sing folk songs together, or do you have a band? <laughs> Emily uh, probably just knows folk songs. Emily no, would know about. No, no, no. We just skip and hold hands and sing songs. Oh, yeah. That, sure, that's what we do. That's so sweet. <laughs> so, uh, Emily, how's your mom? Oh, um, I think mom is doing well. She'll she's gonna be so proud of me today. I I know it. It it'll be great. Yeah, she's the judge and everything. Wow. Yeah. But I think yeah. I think we're all winners here though. Right. right. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure she'll be proud of you no matter what. Oh yeah, that's her nature. She's she's always proud. Mm -hmm. So proud. I'm just gonna make sure I don't mess up. Um, oh, what and... sorts of things would you do to mess up, Emily? What are you afraid of? Um, I mean, don't tell anyone, but um, oh, I, I get a little silly when I drink, and so I really shouldn't be drinking. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's okay, well. you're cute when you're silly. You're gonna do great. <laughs> you think the judges will like that? I think you are unpretentious, and I think they'll like that. Oh, you're so nice, Franca. You're the best friend a girl could possibly have. Same. Yeah, you should be yourself, Emily. Let's. Oh, it's time for <laughs> like to sleep long in the morning. It's good to, it's, that we have a long weekend here. Ah, last week was terrible at work. It's incredible. Nobody's renting machines anymore. What's going on? My machinery park is like all standing here asleep because Antonia is telling them stories about that I'm having like bad quality or such nonsense. That's really annoying. Anyway, today's vacation. And what better way to start this week of festivities with some local wine? <laughs> I bet you. Oh my God. I saw this morning 
who is still running for competition and there was a really promising and fantastic candidate and somebody I really think would like make the best I would really make the best wine queen they dropped out already and what is left what is left in this field we have Emily Emily is useless yeah, Emily is fresh out of the sandbox but she's Antonia's daughter and I remember the time when I was together with Antonia it was actually the best time in my life it wasn't for long and yeah she had good reason to to get rid of me I, I remember that wasn't pleasant well it was for the better in the end I mean Antonia's Antonia we know each other for ages but Emily is fresh and sometimes I'm makes me think like how how good it would feel to be in her pants <laughs> oh, oh my god I shouldn't even think that and Antonia is on the jury oh my god but it's my opportunity it's like uh, juries have always done that and it's somehow somehow their duty to test candidates on all kind of dimensions right <laughs> uh, however Traveling around with Emily while Antonia, her mother, is like the whole time after me and looking after us. Maybe my niece, J Jonah. Jonah would possibly also work as a candidate, I mean. Not with, not with, not the other things. But who knows? I mean, a year-long traveling can change a lot. People could, like, be really tight afterwards and yeah so Jonah is Jonah is Jonah and um, as, as I can say the other candidate Franca Franca is Franca is not from here like how 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 should I how should I travel around with somebody who's like not actually like not actually into wine I mean, cheers, zum oh. Paul, huh? as we say. But yeah, anyway, I'm I'm afraid that Jonah is like just leaving us behind. Like Jonah is like stepping up on this stage and saying, "Thank you very much," and now fuck off and gone. Jonah is. That's she has done that before, right after school. And when you once leave the region, I think you don't have many reasons to come back, to be honest. Huh? And so I think, in the end, it depends on who can impress me the most with their qualities, with their style, with their knowledge and their skills. It's only that Antonia might have her, her own agenda. Maybe I should come to better terms with her, Antonia is. But I'm in, I'm, I'm in the right. There was nothing wrong with my machine. No, she's pretending I sold her like garbage. <sighs> Thinking of Emily, maybe I should like do something different with my hair today. <sighs> <sighs> Or drink some more wine or something. Maybe something even sharper. That would be even better. Do I look good? Ready to go on stage? Andreas, you are the guy. You are the jury head now. It's your decision, it's in your hand. Ein Prosit, ein Prosit, der Gemütlichkeit. Ein Prosit, der Gemütlichkeit.
<laughs> so, time to elect another queen. There are quite an assortment of candidates this year. Good. One who looked promising, who is already thinks she's found better ways to spend her time, but that's just as well. We'll clear the path for Emily with less resistance. Can't believe that uh, another year has come and gone. It seems like it's only been, seems like it's only been moments since I was wearing clean. Times were different then. People respected the art of winemaking. People respected their elders. You grew up in a town, you stayed there. I was beautiful then. But today is not about the past. Today is about the future. <sighs> today we will select a new wine queen and my daughter doesn't botch it up too badly. I think it'll probably be her. Doesn't seem like Andreas will need much convincing. He's up to his old tricks. But Franca, she's not from around here, but There's something in her that reminds me of myself when I was younger. She, she doesn't take anything for granted. She knows that wine is hard work, even though at the end of the day, drink wine to have fun. We'll see, we'll see what the day brings. Oh, all right, I'm finally here. Emily. Nice of you to join us, Andreas. What are you doing here? Emily, this is, this is, this is good, yeah. Uh, we just had some family business, you understand. Yeah, good, yeah, Emily. Emily is looking good today. Antonio, uh, Antonio you, you look good, I mean, uh, you, you look really good today. Thank you, Andreas. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of our slate of candidates? Uh, it's um, impressive. Um, um, Emily is is a potential wine queen who hadn't who had thought so. I already I, I still see her in the sandbox. Hasn't been. Time does fly, doesn't it? Time does fly. Yes, it does. But we are still here, Antonia. We are still here, and we have business to do. <laughs> yeah, we. Are, if you we're... can be brought to it today, Andreas. I, I brought some wine, if you're talking about business. Um, ah, yes. The intermingling of wine and business. It is, it is the way of our people. It is the way of our people. And by the way, about the, this broken machine, um, it, okay, could we get oh, over that? We, we can talk about that some other time, Andreas. Okay. How do we, how do we plan to do this on stage? It's like... Uh, I'm I'm the jury head and you are the moderator. So do you, what do you, do you have something special in mind or just the usual routine or? I I thought I thought the traditional way was probably best. Um, I can introduce the candidates and then you can maybe ask them each a question or two. Does that sound all right? Uh, yeah, something. But maybe something provocative, right? I mean, we have like special guests today. There's like the vice mayor from the neighboring town, uh, Turtletop. And we could like, uh, 
they're also making good wine sometimes and once in a while i'll allow it well um your yeah, wine is I, outstanding well, I, I think that the, the purpose of the questions is to, you know, give people something to talk about during the, the later portion, during the socialization. So just keep that in mind. Give, give people something to talk about. I think that's good. Do you, do you expect me to do anything about, or with Emily? I'm, it, you know, it feels a little bit... Being with the jury and at the same time having like a candidate from the family. <laughs> Well, this, this has happened before with some regularity. I mean, <laughs> clearly, clearly don't show her any favoritism, but. Mm. No, no, and, and, and Jonah will be treated the same. I mean, Jonah is a special case anyway. Uh, but... in, in what way? Jonah is, has just moved back like a couple of weeks or so ago. Is that true? Mm. And uh... True, but she's an entrant and. I don't think she should be treated any differently either. Mm. Yeah, maybe. And Franca? Franca's a smart one. Mm. Yeah, f smart, but... but you what? yourself just said that they made good wine in Turtle Top, so... <clears throat> yeah, well... <clears throat> um, um, some clearly, we don't know, clearly we don't know literally everything. And we should know. We are the jury, and we sh we need to like like properly investigate them, like on a proper investigation. Mm -hmm. And we have three days, right, until the election. So there's the ball tomorrow, and today we have like still like a two hours or so for the investigation of the social part. And indeed, plenty and, of time. Plenty of time. I think you'll agree. Yeah. And yeah, if you don't mind, I'm. I will also use the social time to get to know the candidates a little bit better. Of know? course, like, of course, that's what it's for. That's what it's for. Yeah. So don't feel like it's like if Emily and I. It's like I also need to talk to her, right? It's not. It's no special yeah. treatment. You need to talk to all of the candidates, Andreas. <laughs> you can't just talk to Emily. Oh no, no. I mean, I talk with everybody. It's just. I also would like, if, if it was up to me, I would just talk two hours with you. Unfortunately, we'll have to save that for later also. <laughs> oh, is that a, an invitation? Could be. <clears throat> um, well, um, I'm, I'm here with my cabrio, and um, if you want to have a ride home, um, maybe... Let's see how we feel after the festivities. Could down to the river like we did in the old days. Mm. <sighs> are these glasses new? They look good on you. They are. Thank you for noticing. Mm -hmm. I like them. They have right the color of, of our wine. It's, it's such corporate identity. I was <laughs> visiting a, a <laughs> webinar. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you are laughing, but it's a, it's a, it was mentioned in a webinar about like business model and business strategy. And, you know, I try to diversify a little bit. And I'm also like uh, thinking about like renting cars in the future because it's mm. very close to machinery. And I think there's a lot of potential in there, like to combine this. I don't want to bore you with my business ideas. I'm curious about whether if you rent cars that are the color of wine, people consume more wine and then wreck the cars at higher frequency. Wait, are you, are you, are you telling me that I think we wanted to get over this? I think, I think we wanted to get over this. Antonia. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. I'm bored. Oh, it's I'm I'm bored. It's Ein Freund,
Andreas, you're on mute. We cannot hear you. La, 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 la. Da, 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 da. The March of the Candidates. Welcome, welcome. La, 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 la. Thank you, Andreas. Um, I'm Antonia. I'll be your host today. Uh, prost to everyone. And let's begin to meet our candidates. Emily, will you come first? I, I, I mean, host, hi. Our jury head, Andreas, will be asking each of our candidates a question or two. And I'd like to invite the audience to remember that um, we do have further festivities planned and the candidates will be available for socialization and so you can get to know them a bit. Uh, shall I start already or in, do we introduce uh, all candidates first? Um, we, can, we can go ahead and introduce everybody. Um, our other candidates today are uh, Yona, who is um, recently returned from a stay in the United States where she's been studying abroad, and Franca, who um, I think you all know from around the town. Oh, well, yeah, it's, a, it's a pleasure to have such a diverse uh, cast. Uh, Diversity is important in Himbeldorf. And so we have somebody who uh, is not from here, like Franca, who is somebody who has just returned, like Jonah. And we have like our young people even like on stage, like uh, Emily, who has like a family tradition of wine queens or nearly wine queens. Uh, so <laughs> thank you very much, Antonio, for the introduction. Everybody also in the audience, thank you much, the vice mayor of Tumbleton. It's great to have you here. And uh, we like our competition. And here we are and have our own competition among our people. And this is like our, the place where we can find a new queen, somebody who's like accompanying us like for a whole year uh, on different events where Himbledorf is proud to be invited to. Last year, we have even been on the federal uh, government's uh, uh, inaugural party and presented our wine region there in, in a small street next to the main event. And, uh, but it was like a, a, a great honor to be in Berlin and uh, to present our wine and to see how many new customers can immediately be worn if they just see one of these bottles and this iconic emblem on it. All right, so. I have a question for you, John. What is the origin story of the, this iconic emblem with this flower with uh, three branches going to different sides and, um, and this very rough pattern on the bottom? What, what do these elements all actually mean? Well, our town is a very old town. Um, and that emblem actually uh, goes back uh, to Charlemagne. Um, and uh, he, Symbol. There were three uh, particularly uh, wealthy and successful um, wineries in this town at the time. Um, and uh, all of them went to the emperor uh, to present their wine. Um, and uh, there was there was actually a, unfortunately a brawl, um, and uh, at, at at the end of the brawl, when when peace was made, uh, the town wineries adopted this unified emblem of the three flowers, one for each, with the roots uh, binding them all together. Um, so it's a very old and important emblem, um, also uh, kind of mixed in with a bit of naughtiness. Brawl, you know, it's. Uh, definitely unique to our town and to our history. That's a boy. Thank you very much. Oh. That is, uh, I, I even learned something here. I think I couldn't remember the part with the emperor anymore. Like, <laughs> wow. Where did you read all this? Well, I, when one grows up here, um, you, you, one grows up with all these stories. Uh, and uh, I, I went to school here and I'm very interested in uh, the history of our town and its place in the world. Antonio, I, I, I don't believe oh. a single word. Uh, <laughs> She's right, though. <laughs> uh, it's, she, uh, well, thank you very much again, Jonah. You're, you're 
that is was a brilliant first um, question and uh, you answered it perfectly so uh, now let's go over to franca franca i give you the following situation this is kind of a, a simulation oh you have fans in the audience look at this franca oh my god emily and i are best friends so um we're really looking forward to a spirited <laughs> emily this is a this is a competition you remember hmm? it's like you were against the others right it's not there's no three crowns huh <laughs> okay franca again sorry for this interruption a simulation this is you know this is like when you imagine something but it's not really true hmm? so a simulation where uh, there's a, a, a tourist coming from uh, japan and is asking you like what makes our wine special and why they should try our wine instead of another wine let's say like how do you explain what makes this wine so interesting and so different from other wine well what actually makes our wine so special is the terroir the the um the environment in which it's grown as you see we're in this we're in this valley and we've got the river and the wind sweeps through the valley um, constantly. So we've got this constant breeze. It's actually a little bit of a microclimate. We're usually five degrees cooler than the neighboring towns because we're in this valley. And so the wind sweeps through constantly and it affects everything about it. It affects the soil and it affects the skins of the grapes. Mm -hmm. They're actually, um, the, the, the chemistry of the grapes is changed by the wind and by the, um, by the soil content as well. So really, because of the unique and beautiful place in which we live, we're very fortunate to be able to produce um, some of the best wine in the world, wine you can't get anywhere else, and wine that has a totally unique nature and character. Wow. Antonia, is there anything we can add to such a brilliant description? I'm not sure there is. There is. Um, it was well called out about the microclimate um and it's interesting just sort of as a piece of interesting trivia for the rest of the audience that in addition to the actual temperature difference that the wind makes an effective greater temperature difference it also has some effects on the resultant grapes absolutely and if the climate on the world was more micro we wouldn't need to talk about climate change so that is uh that was a very interesting also like um chemical introduction into wine. I just like the taste, zum Wohl. Zum Wohl. I think it's just very good. Emily, so good. Yes, to Andreas. I also, have a, I also have a question for me. So listen carefully. This is your opportunity to introduce yourself to the audience. This is your opportunity to show the hosts here, that is your mother and me, and it's good to see you in this position here. So why do you want to be a wine queen? Oh, um, I have a really good answer. Um, gosh, there's other contestants use really big words. Um, well, I want to be a wine queen because... Um, Oh, instead of answering your question, I've prepared a poem about flowers that I would like to read. My little flower, hello my little flower, that blooms each day and night. Your vibrant colors radiant and shine ever so bright. I like to pick you up and show you all there is to see, a waterfly, an exotic bird, or a weeping willow tree. But if I pick you up, I know in time you'll surely die. I catch your fallen petals with regret and wonder why. Goodbye, my little flower. Our love is all I know. The greatest joy I've ever had was just to watch you grow. Yay! Did I do good, Mom? It was beautiful. Thank you, Andreas. You're so supportive. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Jonah. Oh, isn't Andreas the best? <laughs> Jonah, what do you think about the poem? Oh, I, I think it is such a, a dear product of our local region, a, a, a shining example 
of of the <laughs> um of our our time i'm i'm sure that you andreas would enjoy hearing much more poetry uh such as that <laughs> as you travel around well anyway yeah. franca what do you think about poetry wine poetry um well, I think wine poetry is, uh, I think poetry and wine naturally go hand in hand. Um, of course, the wine awakens the poetry of the soul. And you know, since, since even ancient times, the capacity for wine to inspire self-reflection uh, self has been an important contributor to the artistic movements of many, many societies. So I think, I think Emily is a great addition to that tradition. Well, uh, I, I think I was distracted for a moment, um, <laughs> but I think it was all wise and good what you said. Um, and it's good to have like some educated uh, people among uh, the candidates. Though I need to remind you that like knowing is like only one part but like also being able to present like to somebody and make it interesting. Do you give me private lessons on that? Emily, we have an after show party and we will continue our discussions there. And I hope to see you all around there. We have some great free wine for everybody. Antonia, I hand over to you. I have asked enough questions to these candidates. I think we can soon progress to the next step in today's program. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank all of our audience for joining us. I'd like to thank our three contestants, Franca, Emily, and Jan, and uh, my co-host, Andreas, and, and a special uh, warm greeting to the vice mayor of uh, Jimble Tribe. Um, <clears throat> I hope to see all of you in uh, the social tents after this. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. The party begin. And from You are muted. <laughs> muted the whole time. I'm muted yeah. the whole time, but I was telling you, you can be on camera or you, if you prefer like off camera. Um, we are off character now. Thank you for playing act one. Now we are planning act two. Act two is uh, all ha happening in, in a party tent. And that's like one of these large tents, like where there are 200 people can fit in there. There's a band playing cover songs from of slightly outdated pop music um, so that everybody n had time to learn about the music and know them. And so you can hear whatever you want from Britney Spears to the Fugees or whatever you want. So it's, it's all there. Um, and uh, the Wine Queen candidates and the jury, they have a table on stage so everybody can see them. And they are supposed to like, like smile there and cheer and toast and, uh, do whatever is necessary to entertain the guests. Um, we have a free scene at the beginning of the three um, potential candidates, the privileged, the innocent, and the ambitious. And you can all think about what kind of scene you would like to see there uh, freely. And let's take time for this. So don't rush. Uh, think about who you want to have in that scene and uh, what this should be. What comes next after th these three scenes is the dance. So the dance is that uh, everybody is on 
on the dance floor and the wine queens especially they invite more and more people in until the whole tent is dancing and the dance gives you the opportunity to talk to everybody because the dance works that you um, there are only, always only two people uh, on camera and dancing with each other and then when somebody else appears they disinvite one other person so and ask over the hand and join another person to dance so everybody can dance with whoever they want and jump in at the right time so just handing over scene to scene and they go fluently one after another and after the dance the host and the jury head will each have a scene and after that there's a taxi ride and we have a, a big taxi where we all fit in and we will all go together home probably drunk um or probably <laughs> probably or properly yeah <laughs> or both <laughs> yeah um so that is the structure and now you can think about like what kind of scene you would like to have and how what to have there that could be in the tent that could be in front of the tent that could even be before the tent but it i think it make, makes most sense to have it at the party outside the party to vomit um, already on the dance floor or giving a speech. Anything is possible. This is... And for sure, it also makes sense to look a little bit like um, that we all get a chance to interact and to see which storylines we want to focus on. Um, I would like a chance to get to spend a little bit more time with Franca. Mm -hmm. I don't yes. have a great Very idea for what all that will entail, but. Awesome. Yes, I was, I was hoping for the same. Cool. Uh, I'm happy to do that during my little, my one-on-one. -on -one. Cool. Um, I think I will also go with uh, the classic and uh, have a look if I can invite Emily out. Um, I'm sure mom will love that. Maybe she'll like to join us later. Uh huh. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Do you, do you figure that you would like to have her join you in a state of like indulgence or in a state of like high dudgeon? Wait, mm. I don't understand. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit curious about whether you have like a uh, sort of a, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, words are hard. Um, <laughs> sort of like what kind of, of support or reinforcement you would like from Antonia? Uh-huh. I could imagine that Andreas and Emily have already made out. And then <laughs> it's Antonia finding them. <laughs> Is that okay for everybody? Yes. Sure. Yeah, I think that means the scene with me uh, pointing out to Antonia how I, I, I think that scene takes care of one of my ambitions. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jonah. <laughs> um, let's see. The great thing is, while the game is happening, we can edit what we plan for our scenes if they haven't happened yet. Because we will look at this document together and so invite new people in, change whatever has happened. So if something signs, sounds suddenly more interesting, then we adapt that. But Jonah, what do you have in mind? Um, let's see. So uh, I think uh, uh, my character does and advise things while drunk. I would like to have... Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I would like to have a scene with Franca. 
Awesome. Where I, yes. Where I come on very strong and very drunk. <laughs> and I think how I respond will depend on how drunk I am at that point in the evening because I do stupid things when I'm drunk. Excellent. I will be drunk. <laughs> Emily, what do you have in mind? I was going to say Franca, if she doesn't mind being the center of like lots of scenes. Because <laughs> you're my friend. <laughs> yeah. And I've got some. Um, but can we have multiple people? Is that okay? Absolutely. Like, can I talk to my mom first and then come and see Franca? Sure. Ah, and that, yeah. Like shortly after, yeah. If yeah. It, it lo it, it, as long as it is in the flow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can just like have urgent business elsewhere. Yes. Whenever it's timely to do so. And uh, Franke, center of attention. Hey, what can I say? I'm exotic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I think I am covered for interactions. So. <laughs> I think I'm going to get everything I need out of that. Um, well, in the end, we could simply say that we make the two scenes Emily would like to have into two scenes, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, then your scene is the one where we meet. Oh, that's true. Where Emily and Franka meet. And so Emily has a chance to interact with her mother mm -hmm. uh, in a full scene. And then I can interact with then Tony probably immediately after that if that works um, or, well, or yeah, after we, the or after the dance, after the dance yeah and yeah after the dance Franca and Antonia can meet Sounds good. nice Cool. That was Antonia Anka. Yeah, and if you like put a little bit of info like where the the scene happens, if it's like outside of the tent or inside or that can also help. And I apologize for all my off screen gesturing. My husband just came in and asked for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Food. <laughs> I'm like, no, nothing. Wine. I'm having wine for lunch. Oh. Warn him about the singing. <laughs> I would, I'd rather shock him, actually. <laughs> um, quiet is, okay. Um, cool, yeah. And, <laughs> and so, and for the dance, uh, don't hesitate, especially if you are not involved in too many other scenes, to bring yourself often in. So it's like, when we're at the dance scene, uh, then Jonah, for example, or me, because we only appear once, before or after, it makes sense that we dance a lot, um, but everybody else is e equally invited. So just don't feel, hesitate to interrupt another couple in their dance. Okay, do we feel ready for the second act? Could I um, solicit the indulgence of the rest of the players for a brief bio break? <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. All right. Then oh. brief bio break means quarter, pa quarter pass is okay? Sounds good. 
Apparently. Mm -hmm. My best friend. Yeah. <laughs> According to my sheet, you're my best friend. <laughs> According to my sheet, you're my best friend too. I'm just, you know. <laughs> Much more aggressive about winning. Yeah. I really want to win. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go tell Matt that I can actually talk about food. Hey. <laughs> and I'll be Hi, everybody.
that was the goal. Thank you. Cool. Oh, oh. I think we are all back, um, which means we can start the second act. Everybody, <laughs> everybody is fine so far? Very good. That is yes. Jonah and Franka, so I will quickly disappear. You're muted. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you're you're really pretty, Franca. Like you're gorgeous. Like you know that. You know that. <sighs> you're drunk. <laughs> you know. It's cool. <laughs> Wine, wine, wine brings out the truth, right? Mm. And and you you don't want to. You're too good for this place. <laughs> Ash, thank you. And honestly, saying like, what what are you even doing here? I, I just, I'm. I just wanted. I just wanted to tell you that I think and you know if i if i win this thing mm -hmm. you know we don't we don't have to stick around here you want to go somewhere else are you asking like, me to run away with you <laughs> maybe you want to run away with me um, I, 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 right now, kind of. Uh, well, that's a start. Um, um, this is this is very sudden, and I'm gonna need to think. Um, and, oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. Also, but you're really pretty too. I just want you to know that I think you would clearly make the best wine queen. And thank you. Really interesting. And I I love Emily, but oh my god, we can't let her win. Oh god, no. Oh, um, yeah. Her alive. Yeah. Okay. Good. You know. Yeah. 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 If, yeah Andreas is like he's dangerous. Like mm -hmm. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm where I can handle him. I'd, I'd be worried about you, Emily, whatever. Like, uh, okay. You're friends with Emily. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I, yeah. No, no. I yeah. mean, she's adorable and sweet and cute and kind and writes fucking poetry about flowers, right? Like I love her, but Oh God, you know, a person can get so much out of this and it would just be a waste, it would just be a waste. Yeah. Like you say, like you or I could make, could make a lot, a lot out of this. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're, we agree there. And you know, the other stuff, I'll think about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I, I really want to make out with you right now. You're just, you're so gorgeous. Wow. Um, uh, I mean, maybe not in yeah. the Maybe not in the gym. <laughs> you find me after the, my lipstick has to stay on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have to be pretty. Yeah, yeah we have to. Yes. And cold. And fit. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. So, 
Mom, how do you think I'm doing? The, the palm was an interesting choice. You're making that face again. Does that mean I'm not doing a good job? There it is again. You just rolled your eyes again. I, I feel like, I feel like I haven't prepared you sufficiently for this. I, I tried, I, I read the books, um, and then I wrote some poetry. Do you want to be wine queen? Oh, of course, um, be, because. Because why? Um, because you asked me to be. Oh, and because I definitely want this. What, what, are you, what do you want to do if you become Wine Queen? What are you looking forward to the most? Um, representing our area um, because we know it the best and it would be really good for us. And, and helping people, that would be great too. You think they'd allow a co-wine queen with Franca? Well, if by they you mean myself <laughs> and Andreas. Oh, I, and Andreas. <laughs> certainly not a thing we've discussed. Maybe like a three-way tie? That could make everybody happy. Wouldn't that make you happy too? Much as I enjoy the optics, I think that would be difficult from an administrative standpoint. Right, of course. So then I'll win. Right? Yeah, I'll win. I'll just, um... Oh my god, someone drank on my wine. Oh, I've got this, Mama. Don't worry about it. <laughs> has, uh, has Andreas spoken to you privately at all? over the course of this competition? No, only a little bit, but they're very nice. They make me laugh. They're funny. And they know everything about wine. Like, that's amazing. Oh, I have a great idea. Maybe they could teach me, um, and then I could be better for the final speeches. You're doing it again. You're doing the mouth thing. I'm disappointing you. I need you to be very thoughtful about your relationship with Andreas. I've known him for a long time. He hasn't changed a bit. I don't understand. I don't have a relationship with anybody. Except for you, Mom. I love you very much, and I don't want you to get hurt. Um, okay, that, that I'll is, add that listen, to the list. Listen to me. Listen to me. That is more important than any of this. Even more important than winning? But you said winning is the most important, and I had to win. As you know, what do I always say? When? It, it is and a woman's, you embarrass me? It is a woman's prerogative to change her mind. Oh, is it? I say that all the time. Okay. Well, I'll write that down. Okay. Um, you also say I shouldn't embarrass you and that I should win. And I'll add this to the list. Thank you. Keep it in mind. Okay. I will if, he try, down, Mom. if he tries anything you don't like, you tell me immediately. Like, give me wine? For instance. Will you be mad at me if I don't win? I'll be disappointed, but... But you're always disappointed. It is the price of having high standards. But I think that price is worth it.
Okay. Oh, Franca, my mother doesn't understand me at all. So what else is new? <laughs> but you understand me, right? I mean, I hope so. You're my best friend. You're my best friend in the whole world, and I love you so much. Uh, what's up with your mom? Well, I have to win this for her, or else I'll be a continuous disappointment, I believe was the word she used. Uh, damn. Do you want to win? Of course! Um, because that would make everybody happy. Um, but I did propose that maybe all of us could win, because that would make everybody happy. I mean, I think that would every make everybody happy but Andreas. Why? Well, then I'll have to make him happy. Oh god, please don't. He is completely <laughs> creeping on you. You're aware of this, right? I don't understand. He wants to f go to... He wants you. Like, it's obvious. <gasps> to kiss? To kiss? To bang? Like, to hold hands? No, no, he wants <laughs> to go to bed with you. And thinks that if you're a wine queen, you will be a like to be able to get you alone and you're fucked. Why do you want to be wine queen? Because I want to show everybody that <clears throat> that that we're not this little backwards village that just elects you know, someone from the same seven families year after year after year that were open and new. Like my family? Like, like you know, for example. <laughs> and yeah, I just, I, I think I'd be good at it. I mean, you're good at everything. As far as I know, Andreas is not trying to bug me, so. I think you have the wrong idea about him, um, about everybody. I think everybody's really nice. You're so precious. And I mean that in the best possible way. But just just be careful, okay? Just like, just keep it in mind that everybody's intentions might not be as good as you think they are. Okay, I'll be very careful. And I, I didn't want anything happen. Good. And, and like, your mom is not the boss of you. Like, I mean, she kind of is. She's actually the host. I mean, but you're amazing <laughs> all on your own. You don't need her approval, and you don't need to save her business. You don't need to unmake her mistakes. Okay, but you want to help your village. Yeah, I want to help, but I, I'm just, I don't want you to be used. Okay, I'll make sure nothing bad happens. This will be great, I promise. Okay. I took down all the notes. Okay, good. <laughs> be super careful. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Can't find that song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett, help us with the song. <laughs> there it comes. Prosit, ein Prost, der Gemüse, ein Prosit, ein Prosit, der Gemüse, ein Prost, ein Prost, ein Oh, it's good to be on stage again. It's a very special time of the uh, of the year. It's the annual wine election ballroom, and this ballroom it officially starts with 
to the two most adorable jury members. And that is especially our host, Antonio. It's so good to have you here this year. And this was such a gr great experience so far for me. And to see you here on stage with our beautiful candidates. Uh, Franka, um, it's like, can you, can you go down to, uh, in, into the audience for a moment? Because we will uh, start officially as the, the two hosts this dance. And so I invite you up, Antonia, and we will now initiate the dance. And whoever wants can join us and take our hands and continue dancing here until the night is over. Yeah, until early morning, until the birds come out and the swans come out of their hidden places with their little ugly babies. Oh, yeah, no, uh, you, mean, you know, you know what I mean. Antonia, it's good to have you, isn't it? It's, it's good to be here. Lovely to be here. It's lovely to be here with all of our audience. Shall we dance? <laughs> yes, it is. It is. Um, but what I'm, <laughs> what I, what I, what I need to say is that I think this will be more difficult than I thought. The problem is that the other two candidates, they were so good today. I couldn't understand a single word. I think they're reading Wikipedia or something secretly. That makes it could be. I hear they do that in America. Yeah, that makes judging so hard when you the candidates know more than you do. And so, Emily, that poem that was unfortunately, I have to say, that was a little bit. It was an interesting choice. But it wasn't the question. How did I look on stage? I asked the question and I couldn't just tell yeah, her that I'm it sorry. was wrong. I, 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 I tried to help, but I couldn't make it in. But yeah, uh, <sighs> we've, we've spoken about it. I trust that she'll do better in the, in the final interview that we'll have tomorrow. Yeah, that's, that's good. But she awesome. asked me about, she asked me about having I, I don't I don't know what she's thinking. She asked about whether there could be like three wine queens and like all of the candidates could just all do the job together. And I told her what I thought, which is that it would be an administrative nightmare. You have to know you have to know who the wine queen is. You can't just have the wine delegation. Yeah, and who pays for the tickets? Like when we go who to does conventions. Pay for the tickets? Yeah, who pays for the tickets? If you pay for Emily all the time and she could maybe be a wine princess host and we could select somebody else. Hi Emily, you want to join us in this dance? Do you want to dance with your mother or with me? Could I ask to dance with Andreas? We, yes. <laughs> remember what I told you. Of course I remember everything you told me. Hi, Andreas. <laughs> Emily, it's good to dance with you. You it's, too. Yeah. Do you like? Do you like to dance close? I do. I was told though that um, I should be careful and not be close to you. But I was also told, um, and I quote, "It is a woman's prerogative to change her mind." Um, so even though I promise not to, I'm I'm going to change my mind. You're such a clever girl. <laughs> you know who told you not to come close to me? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, but, what but do you, you think know about... you can change your mind, right? Of course. It is a woman's prerogative to, and I'm going to follow my mother's instructions. Yeah. Don't be so proud of me. They will be, yes. Mm. This Have is you so thought... good. It fe you feel good. You feel really good. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad. Um, have you thought about multiple candidates to, to win? I feel like I could definitely kiss the man that would allow that. Emily, hey, Emily, Whoa. come back to me now. Oh, my God. Um, Franca, you're here. Oh, Andres, can I steal her? Can I steal her? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. What bye. The are you doing? I was following all the advice that was given to me. Hands are all over you. Um, yes, but I followed your advice and then also my mother's advice. Do you actually want this? 
He makes me laugh. He's really funny. Okay. Mostly everybody else makes me cry. You know, didn't he and your mom? Wait, did they? I have no idea. I mean, weren't they? Hey! <laughs> Danka, we haven't danced yet. No, 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 no. Oh, I'll, you know, I think someone was looking for you way over there. Yeah. Well, Funka. Yeah. What was that? Emily and I were nicely dancing together. Oh, you know, she's my best friend, and she just looks so pretty tonight, and I just, I'm sorry. You can't have all the fun. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so now I shall have fun with you. Sure, let's dance. Yeah, let's dance. So, mm -hmm. um... So do you like close dancing or a, or a little uh, bit more distant? Well, you know, I, I think I think as a future wine queen or a potential future wine queen, it is it, it is incumbent upon me to maintain the uh, moral standards of our community at all times. So, um, you know, let let's leave room for the Holy Ghost. Where do you read all this shit? <laughs> Well, you know, um, Do they I guess- teach that in school? Uh, yeah, that actually, yeah. Um, the, the, you know, leave, leave room for a Bible. Um, no, I mean, maybe, maybe I have just a little bit broader cultural background, which I, which I think is a strength that I, I bring to this competition and, and to our community as a whole. A broader cultural background. Yeah, you're not from here. Why well, do you no, want to become a queen? From here, actually, I, I was I was born and raised here. Um, my mother is American. Um, she's from Sonoma County, and you know she still maintains many many connections with the wine producing region there. Um, and, and, and you know, I read oh. I read somewhere. You know, I'm always reading about these things that sales of French wine are up three percent last year, but sales of German wine are not, and so. I think the international market is, you know, something the wine queen should be concerned with. Wow. And do you know all these numbers and stuff? I mean, I, you know, I, 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 like to, I like to keep abreast of the news. Do you think like uh, in, this, in, this, in the US they would buy our wine? Well, I think if it were properly marketed, yeah, right? I mean, they're always looking for the next big thing. They buy wine from New Zealand. What the heck is New Zealand? You could write a poem about it and that could market it. You could. I think your poems would be excellent. Emily, you want to dance with me again? Um, yes, I do, Andreas. No one else seems to be dancing. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll see you later, Emily. We'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> Send Antonio and Jonah over, too. <laughs> ah, yeah, it's good. Good to have you again. <laughs> good. You're always so good at making me laugh. Do you know why I joined the competition, really? Tell me. Um, d despite, uh, in, in, um, in addition to helping my mom out, of course, but I was hoping you would notice me. Mm. You have been close to me in my heart all the time. I saw you growing up. You were important to me. You know, we should, we should have a walk, maybe later outside when the dance is over. What do you think? That would be wonderful. Um, I've always admired you growing up too. You've been sort of like a hero. We get a bottle of wine going down to oh, the Oh good, because I need a river. new one. <laughs> oh, mommy! <laughs> do you need a new one though? <laughs> Excuse us, Andreas, will you? Oh, I thought you were wanting to dance with me. Perhaps later. Hi, Mom. I, I've been following all the advice. I wrote it down, and, and, and then I followed it, just, just like you said. Emily, you're... Are you sure that being wine queen is a thing you really want? Um, I mean, I want to make everybody happy. Um, but I do think a three-way tie would be great. 
it could be the first time. Maybe we could show everybody how wonderful that is and how communities can come together in harmony. Harmony. All right. Well, good evening, Jonah. We can't yeah. hear anything you're saying. We still can't hear anything you're saying. Hello, oh. Emily. I would like to dance with Antonia. Absolutely. Have you... fun, Mommy. <laughs> Pardon us, will you? Yes. Good evening, Jonah. Hello, Antonia. We are both uh, women who have seen a few things. We, um, <laughs> we, we, well put. <laughs> so I'm your, your daughter. She's so sweet. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned about Andreas, um, taking you advantage are of her. Not the only one. Right. <laughs> and, 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 you know, she could, with a few more years to grow, she could, uh, mainly maybe grow into the role, but, Oof. I, I don't want to speak ill of her. She's she's very, very sweet. And her poetry was very cute. She's, I'm, I'm... she's a lovely girl, um, I think. Excuse me. Um, I think my... I think she's very... Well, I know that she's very eager to please me. And I'm afraid that... She is so eager to make me happy that she is not considering what she wants. She's eager for a lot of things, yes. You noticed yeah. that too. Yes, <laughs> yes. She wants to have lots of experiences. Yes, but with someone that young, you really have to, you have to protect them a little bit, right? I certainly have been feeling that recently, yes. Well, and you, and of course, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Oh, I I I was just going to say, and of course, one of the important things underneath it all is just simply the business and you know keeping the town healthy and. It's true, and if I feel that if Emily were to become wine queen, she would be willing to accept leadership and input from more experienced people, such as myself. Um, so I don't, I think it could work out, but I, I'm not sure whether she's as ready as she said she was and I thought she was. Uh, whom do you talk about? We're talking about oh. you, Andreas, just like everyone else in this town. <laughs> the, the toast of all the conversations. Jonah, can we have a, can we have a dance? Yes. You, you like to go a little bit closer? Do you, you still Andreas. remember? Yeah. I, I do. But of course, we're... I, I, my brother wouldn't mind. People. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes. So... Your father. Your father. I... I, I your father. Uh, <laughs> for us, yes. You know, Andreas, you're underneath it all. You're a businessman. You, the money is important to you, right? And yes. I, Oh, well, yes. And, and I, wine. I, yes. Yes, wine. Wine is fun and wine is money and wine needs uh, a proper steward. Um, someone to, to take care of your pocketbook. Um, yeah. I, yeah, and Emily's very innocent and sweet. Um, she is. Yeah, I, I don't even think you need to give her much of anything to, you know... <laughs> Pretty much whatever you want. <laughs> you, know, you you can have someone in charge of the business, and you can have whatever you want. On you're the side just like you. you. You're just like my brother. You're just the, so much the daughter of my brother. Uh, yeah, thank thank you. You immediately got it, and that's the point. You know, I want to make you wine queen, because finally, I find I found somebody who's like really competent, has seen a bit of the world, but is a proper Hindendorfer. A Himbledorfer who knows like everything, who's connected to the important families. That is exactly you. You are a proper candidate, yeah. And um, yes. but are you skilled in everything? What it needs? 
yes, I, I have a part of the job as being um, charming and nice to the tourists. And, you know, I speak um, English fluently now. Um, and I'm interested in other languages, um, and and I know the history, and I know I, I know how things work here. I'm 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 from this town, and I can serve as an ambassador, and well, ultimately sell lots of bottles of wine, which is what it's about, right? Yeah, but you know that it, it's also a little bit about, about traveling, traveling, and traveling with people like Antonia and me, and uh, that means also because we're like on a we're a small town, right? Uh, so it, it means like we are also on a on a budget sometimes. So could you imagine like sharing a room with me, for example, like for budget considerations? Well, I've done a lot of traveling mm -hmm. and um, been in a lot of environments. Um, the family mm -hmm. that I stayed with didn't live in the biggest of houses. Um, and I did just fine. And uh, like in the hostels. Well, yes. I read yes. about that. Yeah. In why red. parties? <laughs> well, don't believe everything you read. <laughs> yeah. Emily! Can I ask Jonah to dance? Oh, sh oh sure. Absolutely. You were going to tell me all those stories, and now we have the perfect time to do it. Oh, I was. You know what? But I was going to, I wanted to tell you um, how much I enjoyed your poetry and how much I hope we hear more of it. But yeah, I can, more? I can. Right. So uh, I would love to hear more poetry, okay, so but I think so the judges amazing. want to hear more poetry. Okay, you're so amazing and you're adventurous and you are so overqualified. Could you give me pointers, like tips I could do, like more poetry? What else? Oh, well, yeah, more poetry. You know, you know what guys like? What? They like it when you surprise them. Like, like bite them or something. Like just out of the blue. They really like that sort of thing. Okay, so they like to be challenged. Bite the judges? Yeah. More poetry and bite the judges. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Okay, so so I'll tell you, let's see. You know, the um the family that I stayed with, I learned American dad jokes. Did you know that? Oh really? Yeah, yeah. I learned some really good dad jokes. So okay, okay. So do you know why the plane crashed? Why? Because the pilot was a loaf of bread. It's really funny in America. It's really funny. And the kids laugh and stuff. It's really silly. So, yeah, you can. So now you know an American dad joke. Yeah, Thank I have you all so much. Stories. I'll write all these notes down. Excellent. That's really, really good. I'm glad you write so much stuff down, Emily. I'm glad you take so much to heart. You, you know, let's. Uh, yes. And, and, and you should. We should toast to that, Provost. Oh, okay, more wine, but maybe, okay. Yes. Um, it's I think it's the, a wine festival. There's nothing wrong with drinking wine, Emily. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Um, okay, I think our dance is ending. Oh, well. Thank you for the advice, Jonah. You're so nice. Raka, how's your evening going? Wow, there's just no end to the excitement, is there? There, there's really not. <laughs> it is the way of the wine festival. How about you? Been an evening, been an evening, definitely. Have you, um, have you gotten to talk to Emily about any of this? Yeah, yeah, we've, we've talked a couple of times. I, as I'm sure nobody could doubt, love her very dearly, but I, And I'm sorry, I don't remember whether I 
it has been, as we have already established, a day. And I'm sorry, I don't remember whether I said this to you earlier or to someone else, but. Uh. I've been drinking since noon. I probably forgot. Mm. <laughs> um, I think, I think that her eagerness to, to please me has eclipsed her, both her own judgment and good sense. Um, you want my honest opinion? Always. I think that her eagerness to please the welcome generally. I'm sorry, could you say that again? Her eagerness to please is a problem generally in this situation. I understand what you're saying very well. Um, I mean, I love her and I would never take anything from her that she really wants, but I also wouldn't leave her alone in a room with Andreas. I would prefer not to do that also. Um, I'm afraid that one of the results of her being so eager to please me is that she's not very well prepared to make her own decisions, which it's very important to me that she be able to do. And it's very important for a wine queen to be able to do because as you know, she sometimes represents all of us in public engagements. Um, yeah, I'm worried about that. I mean, I hope you know how invested I am here. I, uh, yes, enough about Emily, let's talk about you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, I, you know, I, I, I really do believe in this community and believe in what we're doing here. And I just, I just want to see, I want to see all of us succeed and I want to see all of us succeed in a way that brings attention to our industry for more than quaint pretty girls and dwindles. Yeah. I, I, that's one of the things I really appreciate about you. I feel like, I feel like you catch a lot of flack maybe especially in this context from Andreas about like not being from around here. But I think, I think that's a strength. Um, I think you don't take for granted a lot of the things that folks who have lived here for forever and whose parents have lived here forever and whose grandparents have lived here forever take for granted. Yeah. I mean, I, I hope so. I hope that I, I hope that I have perspective that would actually make you know, if I were to be elected, make this position meaningful. <laughs> um, I mean, you, you were such an icon when you were wine queen, right? Oh, stop. <laughs> no, no. I, 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 honestly, I mean it. Like, no one remembers from year to year for the most part, but everyone remembers you. Um, and I think that's something to really, something to really keep in mind and something to emulate. Um, well, and I want, to, I want you to know that I admire the way you've been able to carve that position into true economic success. Um, Thanks. I mean, it was, it was important to me. I had, it was both emotionally important and sort of, you know, the winery was my mother's before it was mine. So. Yeah. I feel like it is like not just my livelihood, but also sort of my heritage and doing right by her. Um, yeah. And that's the goal here, right? To preserve what is unique, what is most important about our community and our wine while um, making all of that relevant in the current world. Yeah, and I think one of the things that's really lovely about wine is that every wine is so unique. Um, <laughs> I'm That makes our wine so unique. <laughs> Andreas, we're finally alone. Well, we had a good time. It was, wow, 
<laughs> you are a good kisser. That's incredible. <laughs> Everyone says I can't make my own choice, but I'm making this choice. You're making great choices. And oh, Andreas, come close. There's something I have to tell you. I'm so desperate and eager to tell you this. Okay. Come close. I, yeah. what is Do it? you know why the plane crashed? Dad was a loaf of bread. <laughs> Was that a joke? <laughs> did, you, did you just tell me a joke while we are making out? <laughs> <laughs> Emily. You always make me laugh. Sorry, did I miss something? Um, I bite Andreas. I'm what? sorry, did you say you bit Andreas? I, this is, this is. <laughs> this Andreas, I didn't know you were star. into that kind of thing. Antonia, this is. <laughs> May I? Well, first of all, first of all, things can happen, and they don't have to mean a lot. Things can certainly happen. Emily. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Antonia. Yes. I, she was just telling me jokes about planes. <sighs> it's, um... She doesn't look to me like she was just telling you jokes about planes. Well, and we got a little bit physical, but... <laughs> I just, did him. It's just so I hear. Oh, the wine bit, you did it. Come on. <laughs> then tell your daughter what you did to become wine queen. What did you do, Mom? I want to do the same thing. I grew up in a family of winemakers, as did you. I traveled a bit but I came to appreciate the wine we make here as unique and specific and sort of a real symbol of, of our own culture. But that was a, a choice I made, not, not a thing I took very much for, for a given. Does that make sense? I had to understand why, why our wine and our culture were themselves different and, and special. I do understand why we could be special. Why we could be special? Mm -hmm. Do you not think we're already special? Well, we're only special to like ourselves, but we could be special to everyone if we all came together as a community in harmony. And that's why we need everybody to win. And then we all bring our different strengths into it. Because right now, only we think we're special. Oh, Antonio, I tell you, oh my God, yeah, the way you put it. But I tell you what, your daughter is your kind. She has more what into her. What does that mean, Andreas? She has more potential than I thought. And I don't mean those lusty lips. <laughs> I mean, nothing happened, Mom. <laughs> uh, I have raised you for your entire life, and I know that you are lying. Um, do you want to hear a poem about flowers? I already heard it, but thank you. Don't tell us the poem, please, Emily. There's still the final audition. You have enough time for your poems. Antonia. I also made sacrifices on this way. And I also sometimes don't like to be myself. And I, I have heard very well, Emily has told me that everybody here hates me. And I just do no. what I'm supposed to do, right? Emily, it's true, you told me, come on. I like you. 
Yeah, you are you like me, yes, yeah. Because you haven't yeah. I think what Emily actually told you is that everyone should be careful around you, which is not the same thing. Careful. Yeah. So that I can behave like the asshole as I've, as I've always been, right? You told me 20 years ago. And here we are again, and again, I'm getting told that I need to be careful or other people have to be careful. And it's the same shit as every year. And here we are, and here I stand, and I tell you all, and once for all, this is my last round on the jury. I'm out of this game. You can find your next queen by yourself. I just need more wine now. And I will go back to the dance floor and get something to drink and some good cheese. Cheese. I could go for some cheese. Do you want to go for some cheese, Emily? Yes. That was some really good cheese. Mm -hmm. <coughs> My cuff is coming back. Who's sitting in front? Maybe I should run for cheese queen next time. <laughs> cheese queen, come on. The, the, the cheese queen always gains like 30 pounds. Oh. Can, can I sit between you, Emily and Franca? Yes. <laughs> Jonah. Franca, you can sit next to me if you'd like. Okay. Jonah, do you sleep already? Come on, the taxi's I leaving. Want to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to sit in front. You, you were going to. You were you're gonna probably better. Right? Because your place is further away? Yeah. Oh, the glass is cool on my forehead. Jonah. Aw, baby Jonah. How is it to be back in Himbledorf? Oh, it's great. It's a great town. Ooh. So happy. I want to stay here forever. <laughs> here, uh, you here. I I hand Jonah a <laughs> bottle of water and say, "Drink this." <laughs> in 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 vino veritas. In vino, a lot of things. Yeah. In vino Wikipedia. I just want to say, <laughs> I think I, you're all wonderful, and we should stay like this forever. Yeah, your voice is really loud, Emily. <laughs> Okay. Oh, um, if I, I die, you're like, all give me that. Wonderful, and I think we should stay like this forever. Yeah, that's great. That's nice. That's quiet. That's good. If I die, I want that little plot underneath the the nice that fir tree. It's really nice and shady. You bury me there. Oh. You're not going to die. You're 23. You have. 13 livers. Mm, yeah. Listen, listen. You want to listen to me? One per year. One per year. Listen to me, you want to... Do, do you have dried apricots at home? Yeah, maybe. All right, I want you to eat four before you go to bed and four first thing when you wake up. Okay. Yeah, all right. Good idea. You're going to be all right. You've got stuff to do tomorrow that's important. And You're going to be all right. To, and then Drink some water. Teeth. Oh yeah, you brush your teeth. Look. Yeah, I'm a pro. I'm going to be great. I feel like I'm great. You're already great, babe. And Franca, you give a call to your, your ancestors in the States tomorrow and tell them that they buy all our wine, right? I, I Yes, absolutely. We could have like a wine sister city project, right? Where like some town in California sends us a bunch of their wine and we send them a bunch of our wine and then they drink a bunch of our wine and they like our wine. Anka, can yeah. you tell me one thing? Mm. Why yeah. didn't you come up with that idea already before? <laughs> or your mother? Why are you keeping this from us after living here for so long? Uh, I'm gonna once again point the inspirational qualities of wine and um, give them credit for this brilliant idea I just had. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get the car. 
I think we are in the car. Are we allowed to drink in the car, though? Yeah, sure we can. I mean, this is Himmeldorf. Ah. <laughs> and it is the night of the wine queen. And right. All, all the As police if... people, they were all at our party and I danced with them and they were all cute and fine and totally drunk as well. Oh, excellent. excellent. <laughs> that, is, that is what one wants to hear about one's police force. I want to make but, a toast. Isn't it just? Oh, Emily, what? this is a taxi. You want to make a toast in a taxi? Taxi mm -hmm. toast. All right. To my mother, more. Antonia, the best wine queen there ever was. No. Stop. <laughs> stop. Here, here. Oh. There we go. Uh, fine. I go. Oh, I'm And there we leave act two and come to the final act. I hope you're all well and ready to plan our final act. This is the official crowning and with high representatives around. This is not the vice mayor from the neighboring village. This is now somebody like a state secretary there from the Minister of Agriculture. Uh, so this is important, also a place to shine as a village, as, a, as an important economic powerhouse. Well, in the law, between the, the other village and the next village. And in this, we have like an opening speech by the host, where the host is like giving a summary, summary of, the, of these wonderful times we had the loveliest moments, the most surprising moments, make up whatever you want there or use from what we did. <laughs> um, and uh, then we have final speeches and the hosts are on stage for that. So it's a little bit like an interrogation, but it's mainly you're, you are on stage. Uh, for the ambitious, the privileged, and then the innocent, they have the chance for a final speech in front of the host and the um, moderator. And then it's time to hold your breath and the candidates meet backstage in excitement while the jury is sitting together to make a final decision. The three candidates are then, uh, uh, as I said, on, on backstage for this final moments. And the idea is to do this like whispering. So you are online at the same time, but you whisper as if you're, this is a stream of thought. So the others, can actually hear what you're saying so you could inter interfere or intervene with what they are saying but actually like the characters don't hear each other and then at the very end the jury meets and has a discussion whom to make the queen the thing is they need to find a consensus and when in agreement the host announces the winner and holds the laudatio otherwise the jury head speaks um, and if there's no agreement and then we have to reveal that there's no agreement and we need to figure out how that works because there's no procedure for a non-unified jury. Um, so let's see, final words or disagreement by other participants are also possible in the last scene. So the last scene is everybody on stage again. Um, so I can make a decision as a jury head if everybody is following me, is the question. Um, does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Then we are all ready to enter the final act. And it starts with the opening speech of the host. I'll be right there, just a minute.
Well, good evening, everybody. I trust that um, all of you have had a wonderful time over the course of this weekend as we've um, gotten to know our candidates for the Wine Queen. Um, we've had moments of loveliness, of surprise, of sorrow, of deep intimacy between people who, who care about the well-being and the future of our, of our winemaking region and of our town. Um, I think we all remember well my daughter Emily's touching poem at our opening interviews. I think we all were moved by the passion of Franca as she spoke about um, the things that make our region truly unique and truly, um, truly a contributor on the world stage. Uh, we're gathered here this evening to um, hear final speeches from um, all of our candidates. And I believe that uh, myself and our Jury head Andreas will have the opportunity to ask each of ask each of our candidates um, questions about their their final thoughts, and um, I think we will go ahead and get started after a short break. <laughs> yeah, Antonio. Wow, nice hat. Yes, that is something I got from my grandfather. And he was using that when he was on the field. I thought today is the perfect day to wear it again. It's like good protecting against the sun, but also keeping my mind together because it, my mind is going everywhere at the moment. Um, it's like uh, so many things I have learned about our candidates. And now, so I'm very proud to announce that first of all, we see Franca again on stage. Yes, hi. Um... It's an honor to be here. It and, is. Uh, yes, uh, of course, of course. I'm so honored to be a part of this great tradition. <laughs> yes. Um, be part of something, something so much bigger than myself. So it, it really is a tremendous honor just to be included. And uh, something I will certainly remember the rest of my life. Um, I've enjoyed so much the interactions I've had with my fellow contestants. Um, Emily and I have known each other for a long time, very good friends. Jonah and I have gotten to know each other a lot more during this, and I, I'm mm. very, very happy to have met her and look forward to being her friend in the future. So, um. I see. So you you became friends in this process. Yeah, friends, just just good friends. Mm -hmm. It's definitely very important as a as a wine representative to be conscientious about all of one's various connections and, and networks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, when I hope oh. Nice lipstick you have today. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you. It's my favorite color. Yes. A lovely color. Yeah. It's not it's not smeared, is it? No, you look great. No, it's I think it's 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 good quality. It doesn't go away so easily. <laughs> One hope. No, no, yeah. Yeah, so that is good to know. And you have been a pleasure uh, here. I, I can say so at least. Antonia, do you agree? So I definitely agree. Um, so, Franca, I remember you having mentioned yesterday um, during the festivities that you had an idea for a sort of wine exchange program. Would you like to share that with sort of the rest of the audience? I did. I did. I did. I did. Um, yes, yes. That idea was that, you know, um, there are so many vibrant wine producing communities internationally. My thought was that we could find, um, you know, a town in, in maybe, maybe Northern California, maybe Oregon, because their climate resembles ours a little more, um, and, and do, do a sister city program. And, and we would send them a bunch of our wine and they would send us a bunch of their wine and, and we, would, we would create an international market for our wine um, through this exchange of, of um, goods and ideas. 
So I have a follow on question to that, if you'd be willing. Um, do you think that, um, that our region would benefit more from participating in a wine exchange with a region whose terroir is similar to ours or one that is more different? You know, I think that's an excellent question. Um, I mean, in terms of raising awareness, people don't necessarily think of Himmeldorf as, you know, it's not the first town that comes to a person's mind when they think about the kind of wines we produce. So I think that if we were to associate ourselves with perhaps a more well-known wine producing region that produces similar wines, not to put too fine a point on it, we could piggyback on that reputation and associate ourselves with a region that is already known for producing good wine where we produce great wine. That is a canny analysis. Thank you. Yeah. It just comes out of nothing. And I'm... I don't know. This is a wine queen competition. And, you know, I grew up with wine queen competitions and like with, like from generations. Okay. And this has been about like the skills and the beauty of the young generation. And this was not the place to do like business negotiations. I'm sorry, Andres, am I showing an insufficient amount of cleavage? <laughs> That was a joke or? Let's say yes. That was an insult. I'm, I'm a jury member. Oh, I, I, of course, did not intend to insult you. What I meant was that we have an evolving culture, right? A, a, and some of the things that were important to the role of the wine queen in the past, such as physical appearance, are perhaps not as relevant in today's society. I, Franca, thank you for joining us. Do you have any further remarks that you'd like to offer to the audience? I just want to say how proud I am to participate in this competition and I, um, how proud I am for even the opportunity to represent our great town. We'll come back to this cleavage thing later. I'm sure you will, Andreas. Um, our next, uh, our next contestant. <laughs> Who's next? Our next competitor for Wine Queen is Yona. Um, we'd like to invite you on stage to share any final thoughts you have with us and uh, engage in a little conversation. Of course. Well, I think that uh, the Wine Queen competition is ultimately about this town, um, about who we choose to represent our town uh it's it's a big town but it's a big world and uh i i think all of the candidates are really wonderful i i, I think that i i'm i'm proud of the town that i come from and i'm i'm proud of the people that i'm standing on stage with uh, but i i truly believe that if you were to choose me as wine queen um you would be proud of the way that i represented our town um, to the to the ways that I am rooted in this land and to the ways that um, I can reach out to other lands. Level. Thank you, Yana. Yeah. Level. Uh, um, sorry, this has been uh, like a a very stressful week for me like with lots of festivities and stuff so i'm a little bit well i need more wine i think he's trying um, to say we're not as young as we were <laughs> yeah exactly so jonah 
The ages have landed so lightly on both of your... Stop. Oh, stop. (laughs) (laughs) You were gone, and you came back. You can compare. Like, what has changed? Oh. Well, I'm not certain that anything really has changed about this town. I I suppose... um, you know, the, the, the leaves perhaps turn a slightly different color every fall, maybe not. Um, I, I know that I see some concern, maybe that's a change, um, some concern about um, our place in the world. We, we have a very long tradition and um, the future of that tradition is always, uh, it's maybe more uncertain than it's ever been, um, which is why this particular year might be a very important year um, for a long tradition like that of the Wine Queen. Mm. If you don't become the wine queen, who should it be from the other two? Oh, oh wow. Well, Ooh. I'm 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 not a jury member. I um I well say um that I think Franca has a very um broad perspective on things and and an important perspective and I I would um definitely like uh, that perspective is to be taken into account. And Emily is very sweet. Um, she's definitely a, a, a member of our town. Um, per, I'm not sure. Um, she, she's very sweet and innocent. And I will say that. And her poetry is very cute. Mm-hmm. All right, Yona. You welcome back to town. Good to see you back also in, in, the, in our festivities. Oh, it's, it's, it's wonderful to be back. Zum Wohl. Zum Wohl, yeah, zum Wohl. Mm-hmm. And one last question. I saw you in tears for a short moment on the ball. Oh. What was happening there? Well, I mean, you know, this, this is just... Um, some some people in this modern world might consider uh, a traditional thing like this a little bit silly, but um, this is important. This is very important to me. Um, I know that it's important to our town, and it's an important festival. It's it's an important thing to me to to have a shot at representing uh, our town and our wine. Do you need a tissue? Our, um, yes, please. Here you go. No, thank you. This was uh, very emotional. I think we should like yeah. respect this um, and uh, better. Jenna, it's all fine. It's all fine. Of course, of course, yeah. it's fine. We will, yes. we will, we will be there for you. Himmeldorf is always there for you. Thank you. Thank no you. matter how long you left. It's it's good to come home. Yeah. Then um, shall we shall we ask Emily to come up? Jonah, Indeed. could could you do Jonah? Can you do us a favor and stay with us for a moment? I don't want to leave you alone in this situation. Yeah, if you feel comfortable. Do what you need to do. Yeah. Emily. Emily here. Hey, welcome back to the stage. Hi, Mom. Hi, Andreas. <laughs> Emily, do you have another poem for us? I do. <laughs> Would you like me to also answer questions or just poetry? <laughs> I Maybe we'll have some questions later. I would hate to miss an opportunity for me. Okay. Um, I was told from dear friends that poetry was really a good way to win everybody's hearts. Um, So, pick me, little flower, a sweet-scented flower with bright red petals, a flower nurtured with heart and plucked with care. Pick me a flower to make my day, a flower to aid my failing tongue, a flower to make them smile, a little flower to make my wish. Pick me a flower for my thoughts, a flower for my mind, 
a flower in sorrow, a flower in grief, a flower in joy, a flower in happiness. Please pick me a sweet little flower. Bravo. Uh, okay, Emily, uh, what do you know actually about wine? Um, I've drank a lot of it recently. <laughs> um, my mother knows a great deal about it. <laughs> Could you perhaps tell us how um, either of your poems relate to winemaking? Um, yes, of course. Um, see, um, oh, okay, ready? The flower needs a lot of stuff in order to survive. It needs everything working together. Nice air, the sun. Um, and uh. I think a wine queen election could bring so much more than just a single person, but instead a collaborative collective of people, um, all working together for a good cause and harmony. Um, to make this place better and to make our wine industry better. And we all have our own diverse offerings. Like Franca has, um, brings diversity and ideas and Yona brings um, experience and Wikipedia articles. And um, I bring a love for and of the people. And I think together we would have a great collaborative that would make things better. Also, I yeah. love you, Mom. Emily, you still not, haven't understood yet. <clears throat> This is like the election of one queen. No, but it doesn't have to be one queen. According the, to page 32 <clears throat> of the bylaws, um, it just says that leaders will be selected. Hmm. So you couldn't make that plural. Your daughter has done some research. Oh, I've written everything She down. She has. <laughs> She has written everything down. <laughs> She is excellent at writing things down. She's not only, well, let's, yeah. Uh, and, and all the queens want to be solo queens, but I have it on the best authority ever that it is a woman's prerogative to change their minds. So we can have multiple queens. <laughs> well, Andres, do you have any other questions for Emily? I know that there are a lot of emotions now backstage, Emily. And I know that you are a person with a very open heart who's very good at embracing others and making them feel better. Maybe you can join your new friends there backstage while we as the jury also like withdraw for a while, like to come like to a final conclusion about how we interpret bylaws of page 33. <laughs> 36. Thank was, you. It was page 36. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Emily. Okay. And they don't talk about cleavages, I think. Still not, after so many years. Not a geological contest, Andreas. Hey. <laughs> so, Emily, where's Emily? I don't know. Um, well, Emily, Emily. Emily. Anyway, I, I, Jenna, I don't know if you remember that I tried to invite you in last night. I think that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of remember. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you can you can invite <laughs> me in any time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh Oh, we're all on screen, aren't we? I'm catching up on the scene. I think we're monologuing. 
monologuing because like I'm thinking about how cute Franca is. Like, I'm not sure if she's actually here. Arg, I'm frozen. But yeah, like this. You look town, very cute, frozen. This town could be bearable if Franco was in it. Like, I want to go somewhere else, but shit, man. But you can't go someplace else. Oh, we're monologuing. Yeah, we're monologuing. I hope no one goes. I wouldn't tell else. you that, Emily. <laughs> I wouldn't tell Emily that. Emily's ugh, God. Emily's so awful. It's just fine. God, pick me. God. I hope oh, no one you. leaves. Ah. Uh, you know, honestly, the, uh, this town's like stupid, but <laughs> the poetry was kind of funny. <sighs> Hey, Emily, your poetry was great. So good. <laughs> it's like, it's like it, it, it captures the spirit of this town just exactly. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a very good thing. You've done very well, Emily. I'm, we're all very proud of you. Okay, you won't actually run away, will you? Run, a, run away? You're going to, like, stay here? Yeah, I'm going to stay here forever, Emily. You're going to get to be friends with me. Oh, good! Until, like, you can all tell me all those old. stories. Yeah, yeah, I can tell <laughs> all the stories. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Like, America is so lame. Like, oh, it, it like I lived. Oh God, I lived like it smelled. I lived on a farm. Ugh, I <laughs> I didn't get to do anything. <sighs> And all the kids at the like local high school were mean and kind of it wasn't any better than this place actually <laughs> maybe there are better places to go i wanted to go to new york or something <sighs> lives in the middle of nowhere I wish I didn't feel like if I left Emily alone for 10 minutes, she'd be eaten by the wolves. Um, Cause like, is, is this, is this really what it takes to be successful in this world? Like, is this actually what's required of me? Cause yeah, this town is kind of bullshit. And this whole thing is completely weird, incestuous bullshit. And man, like, Honestly, if I didn't need to save my friend from this nonsense, I don't know if it would be worth it. God, Andreas and Emily. Boys suck. <laughs> God. Oh, oh, traveling with Andreas. Oh, God. He's, he smells weird. Like, I don't know. I think he thinks he smells good, but he smells weird. I don't know what it is. Oh. <laughs> Sausage. Too much sausage. 
The only thing that's actually going through my head right now is I'm frozen. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. Well, Andreas, what do you think? I can put the stupid hat off. As you feel led. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. Uh, well, uh, what do you think? Uh, I think I completely lost track of like who I actually like to see as a queen. Have you? Well, I think Emily we can't do any more, right? After what has happened? What has happened, Andreas? Well, you saw us. It was an accident only, but still. It was an accident. You, you tripped and fell on her lips. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, she tripped and fell on yours. That, that is, yeah. I Before she really fell I yeah I thought lips are better than dirt <sighs> come on it was I think it's not it's it wouldn't work going you know going with Emily on on all these business trips I mean you can do that but the part I have to do it's it's difficult to imagine I have to meet Maybe I'm too old for this. I mean, you did dramatically announce your retirement yesterday evening. I don't know if you remember that. Oh, did I? Oh, fuck. I thought I had dreamt that. I think I'm the only one who heard. So if you'd like to rescind that, you're welcome to. Uh -huh. but, but who is it then? Is it, I mean, my niece is... Jonah, she was so emotional, like on on stage. I think I I, I hadn't have that that impressed me. I think it's important to be passionate about about the wine you're representing. Yeah, um, I think Franca is both very well spoken and has a lot of good perspective she could bring to the position. Yeah, but. She and her family, they are like a, they're like a thorn here, like constant itch. I don't feel that way. There's, Himbeldorf is, is still Himbeldorf because there's a certain stability here. You know, and we had, we have our ways to sell our wine and it is not going so bad. And there have been good and bad years and a couple of more bad years recently. But in the end... Perhaps it's true what you say. Himmeldorf is still Himmeldorf and not something more than it could be. Uh -huh. Because of its stability. Maybe we need to shake things up. Yes. And how we how do we do that without destroying ourselves? Well, just don't shake too hard. That would mean Jonah Fra or or Franca? Franca's lived in, in Himmeldorf her whole life. She knows what we're like, she knows what we're about. Yeah. And she's cute. 
I, she can definitely sell to these old guys at the conventions. But this thing about this cleavage, I mean, imagine the, she's saying something like this to a potential customer. I know that I'm an asshole, but it belongs to the ritual of this whole thing to just accept this nonsense. Accept people like me. If Franca finds herself in a position to say such a thing to a distributor, I hope she does. Oh. I don't want to be around then when that happens. You probably don't. Do you want to reduce my importance in in this whole exercise? I mean, if you can't hang with the way the industry works, I guess that's on you. Well, it wouldn't be Jonah a safe option? Like somebody... That's kind, of the question, that's kind of the question you come down to, right? Do we want to go with the safe option or do we want to go with the... I don't know, daring doesn't seem like quite the right word. And but. this revolutionary idea, Emily, like somebody has told her, right? I mean, that can't be her idea, can it? I don't think, I don't think Emily wants it. Every time we've spoken over the course of this weekend, she's suggested that we just collectively elect all of them to be wine queen. Now, that would be a disturbance in the force. But I don't yeah. hate the idea. <clears throat> you could have, you could have a wine consortium. I can't handle three girls. I'm not sure you understand the depth of my incredulity right now. Do you want to, do you want to, kick me out? No, of course I don't want to kick you out. So what's the plan then? I think that's what we're here to decide. Antonia. I'm very sorry about the machinery stuff. I told you we were going to talk about the machinery stuff later. It's not later yet. But why do you hate me? I don't hate you. Why do you think I hate you? These solutions, they all don't work with me. Could we possibly consider settling on a solution that works for the rest of the town instead of for Andreas. Do you have an idea about an, a good ex exit option for me? A good exit option? Well, I mean, you could just decide to retire from the jury. That's sort of up to you. I mean... That looks like a defeat. I, I, I'm not... A We'll throw you a party. We'll throw you a party. You've I'm served for many years. It's been very uh, honorary and glorious. Okay. You know you would love to have a party thrown for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Antonia. Yes, Andreas. I think I have missed a great opportunity when I was with you. In what way? My life would have been maybe different. I think your life would definitely have been different. So would mine. So do we Go for Franca or for three wine queens?
we shouldn't throw it all out of the window at the same no. time. Of course not. So maybe Franca. That's my proposal. I retire and Franca shall be it. I was thinking about asking Franca what she wanted, but I'm pretty sure she'd tell us she wanted to be wine queen. So. Yeah, that's an idea. Let's ask Franca if she's willing to share. And Wait, then we, we can about, see. Are we talking about being willing to share? We're we talking about making Franca wine queen. Yeah. And then, she, when, then we ask her if she's willing to share. And then she can show how she understands that job and makes a decision which makes this whole thing serious and shows she's not running away with Jonas. I've sawn them together. I saw them together and you know, something is happening there. I mean, I think that if we do just elect her wine queen directly, then she'll be sort of in charge of organizing her you know, retinue as it were who she wants to have travel with her and who she wants to have as an assistant and all of that. All right. I'm out. I'm out. Well, it's been real. If you get bored in the afternoon, do feel free to give me a call. Really? Yeah. I would love to. Sit in the vineyard like old times. Yeah. <laughs> Antonia. I really hadn't expected this going this way. Let me know when you want to have your party. At your winery. Well, that's a given, but I said when, not where. <laughs> All right, let's do our job and get this stupid hat on again. <laughs> I'm sorry for your hat. Uh. I'm <gasps> Wow. The new wine queen. We announce it now, finally. And I have the honor to hand over the Lodesio to the wonderful Antonia, who was a pleasure to work with this time. And then I also have to make a little announcement, a little big announcement. Do, do you yeah. want to make your own announcement or would you like me to make it for you? Uh, I, I do that, I do that. All right. <laughs> well, in that case, it is uh, my honor as host of the Wine Queen festivities to announce uh, the jury's decision for this year. After many interviews and uh, many glasses of wine, as I'm sure you all have also enjoyed this weekend, um, the jury is pleased and honored to offer uh, the position of Wine Queen for the upcoming year to Franca. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Wow. That's, that, that's, that's, that's truly unexpected, actually. Um, Don't be so I, modest. I, 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 I'm so, I'm so honored. And, and I just want to say that I, I never really saw this as a competition. Um, I think Emily and Jonah both represent our community so well. And I am so honored to have them as friends, to have gone through this experience with them. And um, I just, I, I, I hope we can all continue to be close and that, and that we can all work together in this in, in the future. Wow. <laughs> well, as I understand the Americans say, it takes a village. Let's. <laughs> Raise a toast to the new wine queen. Franca. Zum Wohl, Franca. Zum Wohl. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. 
And I have a little yeah. announcement. I'm retiring. Oh yeah. I'm retiring from today on. I didn't want I, I already talked with my f closest family and relatives and so on, so they already know. But it's uh, time to hand over to um younger people. Um uh, and um being being still there and being for sure I try to be a big support and uh to help young people to get into my shoes, like for this uh, difficult position. Um, that won't be easy, I can promise you. It took me a while to understand how this works. And Antonia is there for you and I will be there for you for sure. But uh, yeah, working together is like a, it's a, it's a very promising and good idea because you combine talents. Jonah. I don't, I really don't like to see you in tears again. You were so good. You were so good in this competition. Um, so we hope that you stay in Himmeldorf, that you returning was the right decision for you and to see you next year again, running again for Wine Queen. And um, if you need a personal coach, I'm there for you. I'd like to echo Andreas's sentiments. It's been oh. truly a difficult decision this year. We have many people who obviously care about, about wine and about our community. I'd just like to toast the Radiant Franca. Congratulations on being wine queen. Don't steal Franca. her from us. Oh. Emily, your poems have enriched our culture. Emily, you have, you have brought yourself in front of this jury. And that was difficult because there was a good friend and your own mother here on stage. So that wasn't the easiest way to come for your first wine queen competition. You have many years ahead. So don't feel too negative about this. This was just your first year. Next year, you have another chance. And with your bylaw, I saw that there's a chance that you can work very closely together with Franca. And even, I hope so, that Jonah is also joining in and that the three of you could find a new way to work together in this position and refurbish some parts which have a little bit too much dust on them. Certainly next year will be uh, fresh and new and different. Oh, yes. Ah. Ah. And therefore, I would say, let's give it another call. The music shall play last time before we want. Oh, before we the music, the before the music, I'd like for all of us to raise a toast to Andreas, who has for 25 years served as a jurist for the selection of the Wine Queen. Um, we'll publicize information about his retirement party, which will be held at my winery later this fall. And we hope to yeah. see all of you who have enjoyed the festivities this weekend there to celebrate him and our newly elected Wine Queen. I look forward to the party. I'm poor. And there we go. The game is over. Thank you very much for playing the wine queen. Take a deep breath, stretch your legs, your arms. And when you feel ready, return with your camera on uh, and to see that everybody is back. Cool. And then unmute yourself. When, Excellent. And I feel, uh, I can also stretch in front of the camera. Uh, uh. <laughs>
time to get hats off. And there we are again. Okay, I'm back. Good to see you, Peter. <laughs> Good to see you too, Garrett. Oh, that's right, I can change my name back to... Yes. Peter. Oh, Let's see. I names. am so sorry. I have been having totally functional Zoom meetings for four months now, and <laughs> my, internet, my internet just quit today, I think, because it's Saturday. Um, Sometimes the internet gods do not smile upon yeah. us. Yeah. Horizon is not my friend. But you were, um, for the most part of the game, you were perfectly there. So we were lucky that it was at the beginning and at the end only. Yeah. We, yeah. we can just pretend I fainted from the honor of. Yeah. <laughs> of being one. Good. Cool. Cool. So we have um, a Peter again, a Megan again, a Ruthen again. And there's also maybe, um, so the time is over. So we had four hours planned and that time is over. And you might uh, need to go to other games. You might just need a, a longer break. So those who, can, who need to leave can leave and uh, write what they want to say about the game or want to, what they want to tell the other players who has 10 more minutes could stay with us for the debrief. I would stop the recording and we do the debrief uh, outside of the recording. That is, I'm always sad not to have the, the, the debrief on the recording, but then again, also the, record, the debrief can be more personal when the recording is stopped in some sense and sometimes, and you don't have to think twice about what you say. This is why I say goodbye to any audience here. <laughs>